Let's see who a hand cloud. Wonderful hooster. Wonderful hooster. I appreciate Mr. Yahua for another Yoon. Sparing our Kai. Isn't that right? A lot of people won't be a participant this Yoon. That won't be because they're not willing, because Mr. Yahua done already done designated you're not going to be him. Spared our Kai, he gave us the opportunity to be him. And what you do with it after that is going to be crucial. That's honest. A lot of people gone. Talking about moot and everything else. You just, I applaud it that when our time comes, and that guy, I want to go down like a soldier. Isn't that right? So that's the thing we had to consider when we're coming through him. Looking at society today, society ills, society woes. Got to make sure we're right. Isn't that right? I was looking at some country, I forgot on the news today, was showing how they beaches eroding. Man, I'm talking about they don't wash that sand away from them. They don't let that sand sitting up there like a little mountain starting to build. But you who are wiping these places. These folks played around long enough. We just got to make sure it ain't us now. We done played too now. We done procrastinated, hesitated. You don't have to be gone to play now. You can play while you're here. But Mr. Hood now, he's yawkering for us to get it right. Everybody got to consider that. Done got later than what it used to be. If there been a time to apply yourself and make sure where you need to be, it's today. The disease ain't going nowhere. Inflation ain't going nowhere. Uh, I mean, you got a loss of everything. Job, what they say, five million people walked out of the job market? Yeah, ain't no five million walked out. It's going to get worse for these people after a while. All they little PP and PN and SBN ain't going to start running out on them. You got to have a plan. These people got something for you out here. Make no mistake. It's the government. All these governments are working for autocracy. Y'all remember that word? That's just getting their rule over you. You're gonna have one government rule over. It's coming. People they don't realize. What you, listen, the only way you can rule over people, you gotta have a poor class. You can't rule over the rich. The, ru the rich control the politics. It's the poor people that don't control the poli politics. So the more poor people you got, the more people you can enslave. Y'all got it? No, that's it. Keep going to church. Don't worry about it. Keep going to church. You don't have to physically go there on Sunday. You can go there in your mind and how you operate. See, church is a mindset. That's the truth. It's a mindset. It's a dialect. It's the way you talk, the way you do things. These people know they already beat you in their oppression. They're going to look and say, hey, man, he's hostile. He hostile. That's good. That's how I want you to view me. I'm hostile because I don't like my situation. I'm never going to be satisfied with America gifts or trinkets or tokens. I'm not going to be accepting anything they got and act like that pays for everything you've done. Right. The only thing I'm for is complete separation. Yes, I tell you, that's the only way it's going to work. If you're going to be a people, I tell you, it's another unit. What we do, what's the plan? I got to. You got to separate. It don't make sense. Your COVID didn't stay with Laban, did he? What he told her, what happened when he stayed with Laban? He said, you jipped me. You jipped me. You beat me every time. I came up in the hole every time. People said, man, he got there. Look how he came up. He said, man, I was in the hole. I ain't getting no sleep. I had to wind up paying for stuff. when it ain't my fault. This is what America makes. They think you pay for stuff. Ain't your fault. Right. I don't know how people call it no land opportunity. <laughs> it ain't no opportunity. It's an opportunity for white people. People say prejudice is not prejudice, it's a reality. Yeah. You gotta, we got to formulate a place that look like us, that's for us. That's right. I said, being honest. So you play a game you ain't good at and somebody beat you at it. Let's pick a game I play. Right. Well, I'm going to keep playing a game ain't good and you keep beating me for it. That ain't even that stupid. Right. Come on, let's play again. I can't beat you at this game. Well, let's keep playing anyway. It don't even make sense. It's not fair. I can't beat you at it. It's your game. It's your rule. How am I going to beat you at that? Come on, let's play again. Little kids know better than that. You get two little kids, they keep saying another kid keep getting them. What they going? They don't want to play it no more. They done. You had to talk to them, try to get them to come. They look at it, it ain't fair. I ain't gonna play with them. It's not fair. How we grown and we got less sense to kids? Then we do the same Christian anyway. You talk to them. Oh well, listen. It ain't about being fair. Y'all just play together. Not if he ain't fair. Not if she not fair. We're not gonna play together. We're going to keep having the same problem until both of us learn how to be fair. America ain't been fair, so let's stop playing. Y'all hear me? Sometimes, you mean the neighbor kid might get into it. You know, my dad tell me, he said, get in your own yard. He regretted a strickler for that. He seen the thing going. First thing he looking, he want to know, first of all, who yard you in? He said, get in your yard. Another kid tell him, go not, get out of my yard, go home. Okay, right? That's how you end the problem. If you're in somebody, he looked at something, he want to know you was in somebody else's yard. 
That's why you, you know, just being kids, kids come play. The whole thing he let in the store was you just got to get out of the yard. They got to get out of your yard, you got to get out of your yard. Henry Gray made a lot of sense. Y'all get in your own yard. It's time to get in our own yard. Only way it's going to be fair. Only, thing, only way it's going, you got a fair opportunity. Only way you got somebody to be a proponent for you. And I told you, that him, to me, Henry Gray is saying he would never fatter me on a lot of that. That's because I was a kid. You a kid, you want stuff a certain way. I told a story one time with some, a bag in our backyard. I got that bag, popped that bag over. We were kids with speakers. We tore up. We wanted the magnet. What we gonna do with the speaker? We ain't have bite. We had bite. We can't put no done. Twelve inch wolf with no speakers on the back of no bike. So you tear them over and get the magnet. Them nigga came around that drove around that. Look, I'm like, they like man. They like you got. They were they were probably 19 or whatever. We probably ele- we were elementary. They like got like a bag. Got our speaker. Like, oh shoot. So they, like, they went and told my dad. Got my dog. He regretted came that dog. Like they like um he he had got our speakers and he tore them up. I looking. I I went to get slapped across that yard. He said he uh, he said where was the bag at? We walked back in that backyard. Say, show where that bag was. Well, he said, well, he said, he said, where you got that bag from? I said, well, right here in the yard. He said, it was in our yard. He said, I don't give a damn about it. He said, he told, he told, he said, I don't give a damn about it. He said, it was in my yard. Yeah, yeah. I look at my, yeah, like he said. <laughs> you heard Henry Grader? Yeah. It was in our. Listen, he was listen. Done talking. It was he went back in the house. He was done with that. He said, he said, I don't give a damn about it. He said, it's in my yard. We kept on playing, kept on doing Ryan Street, looking at like this. Keep going, that's all they were doing. Ryan just pointing, looking at it. Yeah, they had it going on. I got the magnet. I got the magnet. That's how he looked at it. He said, it's in your yard. So he looked at it. You had the right to it. It was in your yard. He said, he ain't kept about nothing. Had I went over that gate, he was ready to go ahead and bury me then. Because you don't went in somebody's yard, you put me in a bad situation. Now I got to pay for somebody's stuff. But since it was in our yard, he like, I ain't paying for that. It's time for to find out what's in our yard. That's why they take, now it makes sense though, why they take stuff from us. Who y'all are they saying? Yeah. Think about it. You can use it, man. Why man, I wait tell you something? I can't hear time to go get something. They take it from. Who? I'm asking y'all like Henry Grady. Where y'all get it from? Where you got your stuff from? Get in your own yard. I ain't gonna stop crying inside. Y'all ain't gotta do nothing. No, nobody ain't gotta do nothing. I ain't gonna listen. This is why I'm mad. They can kill me like this. But I'm gonna take somebody with me. Can't go by myself. I ain't talking about taking no nigga either. Let me tell you something. We've been hung long enough. We've been punk long enough. Done with it. Done with it. We human. Listen, we men and we women. Ain't nobody been more loyal to their place than we've been. Nobody put in more sacrifice we put in. And we need to let make sure they know about it. I seen some white boys on a motorcycle riding. Know all of them in a bike game. Anytime you see a bunch of redneck over five of them on a the bicycle, that's a bike game. Never seen no police pull them over harass them. Never see no GBI come throw no weapons. Hey, you can see him. Hell's angel on the back of your jacket. I wonder who that is. The mongoloids. Huh? I wonder who that is. Maybe the police don't know. They the one told her who they were. That's right. How hard is it to stop a whole bunch of white folk on motorcycle with long beard and nasty little white girl with cut off short with hell angel rolling their jacket and on their mind, on their body, on their motorcycle and the club called Hell Angels? How hard is it to catch these people? Think about that though. We definitely be watching the GD, the the, the Bloods, the Crips. Everybody know them. The white folk don't know them. They ain't even got that road on their car. That's right. These guys put it on their clothes, That's up. Yeah. on their jacket. They run the club. These boys smashing. Y'all saw what was a couple years ago when they shot out with the police at that club. Arizona. Arizona. They, they shot it out with them. They were sitting right down on the curb. Listen, that was the nicest organized organized shooting I ever seen in my life. How many of y'all ain't never seen it? Oh, they got through, they had them sitting on the curb. Not one of them white boys should have been living. Oh, they shot it out with them. They had them sitting on the curb. They sit on the curb, talking, just kind of sitting around. Mind you, there's been a gun blaze out here. Broad daylight. Just sick of it. I don't know when we're going to leave. It's time to get, what we got to do first, we got to get compensation. That's right. Come on. We got to get direction. We got to get compensation. Y'all hear me? That's the only way it's going to make sense. We got to get that thing right. I don't know, it just troubled me. That just troubled me more and more about how we got to move, we got to go. Look at all these wonderful little kids we got right here, our young people. And I want to see y'all have a fair chance in life. Don't believe it. You ain't got no fair chance. No, it's just good, you know, if you're going to be here, you don't have a fair chance. So you got to organize. You got to get with people that are going to work for your benefit. Anybody don't work, well, you know, I don't think it's about us having a fair chance. Cut them out. Let them know you ain't my friend. 
I can't talk to you. You got a no, no, I got a you got a bad mind. Anytime you don't want better for you and chance it and things that work for you, something wrong with you. That's right. That's a person you don't even want to communicate with. Something wrong with you. You are, let them know you're an agent. How many of y'all do watch um watch uh what that was um Matrix? I remember he was walking, he seen that cat, he seen that cat again. And he said, he ain't think nothing about it. Why wouldn't you think about you just seeing a cat go and how the cat, you ain't never see it go back, you see it do the same thing twice. They said, I mean, was it the same cat or was it a cat? Like he said, it was the same cat. Quick, it's agent. That's how they work you. That quick, man, thing, you got to watch everything around because everything can be an agent. Yeah. Yeah, hello? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, I just think it's just a movie, but just reality for you. It's reality for you. It's a lot of things working against you. A lot of things working to attack you and take you down and stop you. You saw how they were working like they got the guy Morpheus. They took the leader. They already know when you cut the head off, the body dies. Y'all don't know these people have strategically practice how they dissolve and take down organization. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't take no Black Panther down because you took down no little peon. You took down Huey P. New. You know, you take down people that are going to be critical to the organization. He was a brain of the organization. He was the man that knew he knew all the legalese when it came down to how that worked. The man was on the way to be an attorney. I do pass the ball. So he was detrimental to them because he knew the law. He could walk in and recite a lot of these people. He could put it right back in their face. Let them know how their constitution organized them. And let them know what their amendment rights was. And the constitution, you, you don't know nothing. That's why they let a lot of these guys keep functioning because a lot of these companies, a lot of, listen, the Crips and the Bloods are only out here still operating because the government needs them. They need them people to help move and facilitate drugs in these neighborhoods. Where they sell them at? Where they sell them in Buckhead? Where they sell these drugs in, in Beverly Hills? They need them. Because they know if you saw a white man in your neighborhood selling drugs, and you already know the white people are the people that facilitate, create the drugs, and fly and ship the drugs in and drive the drugs in, then you're going to, it's going to more or less solidify your thoughts about them. So they make sure they put the pee on in your face, who they let use and shoot you up and then make you buy the drug. I mean, you lose on every end. If you got gun violence in your neighborhood and drugs, how you going to survive? It's just a matter of time for you to get taken in one way or the other. The drugs going to come in your home, either through the hands of your kids, or one of your kids is going to get killed by them. How you gonna win when you got that many attribute work? Then you got the police you gotta worry about coming, who gonna frame you and say you want the drug people. Cause you live in a drug infested community. Anybody ever lived in a drug infested community before? Now listen, listen, them folk don't try to sting with who is who. You know, so that, 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 just, that gives them that justification for how they handle you. So it's just time for us to stop it. Once somebody white live in that neighborhood, unless they cracked out, whatever, they'll never get that kind of treatment. They're golden. They know how to treat them. They're going to avoid them. They want to get the dealers. But they need the dealers. Because they know once they take you off the street, another nigga going to take your spot. So you just keep them. Like when you kill a roach. Anybody kill a roach before? Please act like you ain't never seen a roach. Please act like it. You know, good and well. Your first playmate was a roach. I don't know if you're a nigga, no, good and well, you know. The folks are like, where is that? Is it the water bug? That's a roach. All bugs get water. They live outside. It rain. How you coming to just the water bug? That's a roach. What bug you know can't get wet? They created outside. That's like bugs created under shelter. White people give them nice little cute little words. How many of y'all seen a water bug? Don't lie. Go ahead and tell them. That's a roach. <laughs> the boat had never seen a roach. Just said they seen a water bug. They the same people. Y'all all right? You can't keep no bugs out, no matter what you do. They ain't going to keep us out either. We got to get what belongs to us. Y'all got to? And white people got to get what's coming to them. That's just true. They white said they got to pay for it. I don't know why people scared to tell them. That's what make it bad. See, when people do stand to take a stand to tell the truth, our people leave them out there to just get murdered and massacred and taken down with. What you saying wrong? Have they committed no wrong? Why are you still fighting for equal justice and rights and, and Dr. King got it for you? Man, it's the longest fight in your life. You, can't ever, you ain't going to ever stop fighting. I don't know how you fight. You ain't never throw the punch. All the people keep getting hit is you. All the person keep getting shot is you. All the people keep getting locked up is you. I don't know how, what did what it call? The civil right fight. Who, who was in that fight? What did it call? The struggle? We struggling bad too. These folks done choked us out. We ain't even got no life. 
My generation was definitely softer than my parents' generation. But we were definitely stronger than the generations that came out behind us. And then a lot of these, a lot of the kids now, or the kids before, and they are now, a lot of these kids now are a product of the synthetic drugs. Our, our kids, um, the kids with us, I mean, we created a lot of them are crack babies. We put a lot of crack babies out here. They got us on crack. People just above us got on crack, so we produced these baby that came out with these deficiency. We, we produced baby from the welfare cheese, from the crack industry. Oh, we did it. And the alcohol, that did some damage to you, but then the people that came out from us and what they own now, man, crystal meth, baby. Man, you're never going to get them fun. And see, a lot of these drugs, if you look at them, they're all designed to di dis uh, what's disorient, to disorient you. So you won't be conscious. See, that's how they can take advantage of you. See, the first thing they did with, uh, if you look at even with Shamshun, they disoriented him. Remember, they first killed everything he was telling them they were trying to do was attack his mind because he was in his head. They wanted to get in his head. When they cut him out, then they took his eyesight, so they disoriented If I take your eyes out, you don't know where you're at. Not unless you're familiar with the surrounding. Then they take him somewhere he's not so. He ain't never been in prison before, so how you gonna be so, how you gonna be familiar with how to operate inside a prison house? You then, and then you dis, so you kind of disoriented, and that's what they've been doing. Oh, we've been disoriented. We've been thinking we get a part of the education. We really understand how the system works, but you don't. The only way you understand how this system works, you got to study these people, and you got to look at what's going on with you. And you got to watch how many other people like you are affected by this system, and by the education system. I'm, I'm a proponent for we got to have something in place for our young people. Our children need us. I was looking at um, Buck doing uh, homeschooling on the computer. That's not going to work for our kids. It's not going to work. It's going to be designed to push up behind. It ain't nothing he done. It's just the system. You can't leave a child to his own devices. You can't do it, and they know it. They, listen, they'll socially promote theirs. They'll move theirs around. Why? It ain't about education. Y'all got it. It ain't, it ain't about it. They're going to get grandfathered in. They're going to get moved around. Our kids are going to get further behind, which is going to push them more in the streets. They want us to leave them home. Y'all know how detrimental it is when a child comes home. I remember years ago I told y'all about the women working, the husbands in the home, coming out of them jobs, being at home. Y'all remember I told you that? You can't afford for that kid. Them three hours that child get alone in that home can be so critical. It be very critical. You don't know what other elements are usher their way into it. I know that, oh, we got to do something. That's why I'm trying to get y'all to work on a plan to put something together so we can pull every one of our mothers. We got to get them back. This, we can't have this to be as a shame, having a mother at home. Those kids need to have that. Leave it to be, but talk white people to have somebody home. They wonder that white women weren't educated. They understood you can't leave these kids at home by themselves because the other elements that are creep in. The neighbor be watching. Their friends know they're at home by themselves. They come over and hang out. Before you know it, man, your house got a hell party going. But just too many different things can happen. You know what I mean? You got to get a kid back there to get home, do your homework, and go play. Ain't nobody home. Yeah, my homework done. Go play. Yup, done it, because I ain't going to do it, so it's done. When the teacher gave it to me, it was done, because I ain't doing it. Well, I'll be seeing you tomorrow, Miss Lady, <laughs> that right? with this uncompleted homework, or incomplete. So we got to have people that's home to make sure. Th these are little things we got to strategize on until we can get out. Man, you don't know how much it means to a kid, man, come home and a parent, somebody down. You might think it do mean a lot. Get home, man, and mom and dad, man, and some food cooked, and some getting ready to get there, you know what I'm saying, set them up, start getting them organization. Go ahead, go on, wash up, clean up what you got to do, get ready to eat, you watch so much TV, then you're going to do that. You need that structure. You can't leave them, you can't let the child structure for themselves. They won't bathe. They'll grow up and be grown people that won't bathe. And that way, they won't learn how to complete nothing. And that way, you got to teach them how to structure their time. That's why they fell in this school. He, his school, too, you know, them kids ain't getting nothing done, man. Because the parent, listen, they push us where we're such in a rat race. This ain't even just black and white, but I'm, I'm addressing our people about one of some of the social ills we have. It's the fact that you can't leave a child to make decisions. You can't leave in the hand. Even when they tell you about what they want to be, I'll listen to you and take it down. I consider look at where you're at and tell you, yep, that ain't going to work. We ain't going to waste your time. I said, man, honest, you got to pick and you got to watch them and know what makes sense for what they're trying to do. I say, you sound be practical with a child. I ain't going to tell you you can do whatever you want to do. Let's go through a list of what you want to do and see if it's practical.
Hello? We have a lot of people that just go through the motion to do something, then eventually they'll quit. How many of y'all went to college for something, then you quit? Why? How long until you went to college? You went to college. <laughs> Yeah, it's the truth. Sometimes you go there and just change your mind, really what you want to do. But see, if you have somebody that kind of work with you and kind of knows you and it's like a parent should know their child, then you can kind of look at, you know, it's a lot of different fields out here. If you're going to do it, it requires a lot of time and dedication. You see your kid ain't dedicated now, I wouldn't suggest it. You need to know them to know what fits them so you kind of put them in a direction and then you get them an alternate plan. So you always need an alternate plan. It ain't that you won't do that, but if something occurs and something happens, you need to have an alternate plan. Y'all got it? If that field closed down, that field overloads, if anything happens, what's your alternate? I don't have, some people going, I don't have all I'm just wholly in it like guys will go for the NBA and NFL, and they'll make it. Then they don't make it long. Then they don't have the money. Then they break down, and they ain't got nothing. Then they won't come inside. They won't make a record. <laughs> go figure. I'm just saying, in life, things happen. So we have to be able to say, be the monitor, the decider for our children, look at what's best for them, teach them responsibility. I, I mean, you never stop learning. It. It's just too many things that our people don't know before you just put them out here in society. And when you get out here, this ain't the place to learn when you get out here. I was fortunate. I learned the hard. I learned from the school of hard knocks. Nobody held my hand, walked me through to show me. I had to learn from the school of hard knocks. A lot of people that was in my class wound up dying. They ain't just drop out, they wind up dying. Some of them give up and smoke crack. It's just like, it's an easy, smoking crack for people getting on crack is an easy way of getting out. It's another way of quitting. Yeah, they're going to get on a drug. It's just another way of quitting. Y'all know, let me tell you something. Y'all, you should um, applaud yourself if you're still out here and you're still pushing. A lot of people just tired of it. They just give up. Walk all, leave homeless, go homeless, start smoking crack, start, you know, just excessive drinking because you just want to escape it. Whatever happened, happened, you're just tired of fighting. It's just like nothing's working out for you, and nothing's working out because you ain't got with the right people. You ain't got the right information. This is a skill level. It's a skill set to survive by him. People don't know it. That's why people do it for a long time and never, never really achieve that because it's a skill set. It's a skill set. People lock in the way they're at, and that's where they stay. It's a skill set. Y'all understand that? So we need to better your skill set. So you can break that little monotony so you start seeing yourself start to come up, start positioning yourself. Everything about positioning yourself, too. Hello? Even with martial art, it's a, it's a position to throw somebody. Everything, things, you can make, things have to work in your favor. I'm trying to throw a person this way and he pulling that way. It don't make sense. It's not going to work that way. There's a lot of time we'll waste time trying to do it, but you'll want to hurt yourself at the same time. Society is set up for us to make us hurt ourselves, make you tie out and quit. Hello? Same thing you do with a child. You, they got too much energy, you make them do something, them tie themselves out, ain't it? So they can go to sleep. That's what they do to you. They make you tired, then you just go to sleep. You just become unconscious. See, they look at when you're unconscious. Like sometimes, how many of y'all you you know how to get your baby to go to sleep? Little child go to sleep. That's it. You know, the time is over to tie them out or give them to somewhere. <laughs> to me, not right. That's what they know how to do to you, baby. You look so sleepy. America tie you out, so you get in an unconscious state. You're not a threat anymore. Now, I can do what I want to do. Why are you sleeping? These people up working. Y'all think these white folks sleeping? Why are you, why are you up and why are you sleep? No, I can't sleep while you sleep. I need to be up. Like, that's what good mothers do too. The kid don't hardly catch them sleeping. Mama already be up. That'd be honest. She know she got to get up. My, that, that is. That, 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 the kid come wake them up. Got to cook them, get them dressed. Hold that. Got to brush their teeth in the bed. I <laughs> mean, no, no. Mama already be up. Mama said, I got to be up. Mama said, I got to be up. Because I know you can now. And you get up, what you going to want to do when you get up? Eat. So I'm still asleep. Now I got to hear your mouth. I need to go ahead and get, and get us. I already know you get up. Get away. Stop. Right, come on. I already got in here. I'm getting it ready. In there, already getting set. You got to be in the front of it. And that's what these people are doing. They've been in the front of you. Then why don't we get in the forefront of our children so we make sure we prepare something for them? Then there's some things we have to give up. But then why, why the people, why our women are giving it up, the sacrifice to make sure that we set up a future for our kids. That means our men have to organize and come together and we have to put something together where we can allow this to be applicable for our children. No, they ain't gonna do that. They're not gonna do that. The people, we let them think about it. I don't even know what I did, but Rudy, just come on in, Rudy. 
I don't know what I did. Rudy, you just come on in the kingdom anyway. Rudy got a seat. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, it, it's true. It's true. We, we, we got to, this is what a lot of y'all guys don't think about. These, these, these young people we got, they get them to perform, they dance, do whatever they do. These, this is our future. Our future can only be as bright as what we put in them. If these kids can't survive out here and these kids can't make it, if these kids are not employable or, or not set up to be manufacturers or controllers of business and, and don't know how to manage and handle money, what's going to happen to us? We'll become extinct. We'll be extinct. So we got to teach them these practices. We got to show it to them. They got to want to embrace it, encompass it, because they want to have something. Y'all got it? We got to start getting them more or less what they call futuristic. We got to get them to start thinking outside of America. That's right, America's crumbling. You got to think outside of America. Listen, while America been uh, destroying us and everybody they've been doing, other people that they already hampered their futures have already created and set themselves. Look at China. China beating them out in space, which I don't believe they go to. China beat them out in artificial intelligence, I believe it. Because none of them are smart enough. It's got to be everything they show you is artificial. They're going to show you a machine that's smarter than you and tell you it's artificial intelligence. You're actually going to say it's smarter than you? If I made it, it's smarter than me? You're who have made me, so I'm smarter than him. The fact that you're dumb enough that you accept it. The man started off and told you it's artificial. What is artificial? I buy something that's artificial sweetener. Woo, that's some good sugar. But now I got artificial intelligence that's smarter than me. Something that's not real smarter than me. Does that make sense? Only white people can get you to believe this. Only white people can get you to subscribe to it because they got y'all where they got y'all where you feel like you're so innovative. You're so smart. You learn all these different little vocabulary words. You know what I'm saying? He's typing in, using a computer. And made, and all they did was dumb you down and made you lazy. Only thing that computer can pull up is what's been put in it. That computer can't pull up nothing on its own other than what's already been put in it. There is no information that that computer can pull up and retrieve that it's not connected to. Hello? That computer can't think outside. You can. It, it can never be smarter than me. It's impossible. It's hooked up to a database. All the information that you put into that computer is, is from, it's picking it up from a stored database. It cannot go outside and pick up anything of its own. It cannot think on its own. So you know what? Hold on, I'm thinking about it. This is a man-made word. This is our, the computer cannot reason. But for whatever reason it is, y'all younger people so dumb. I won't call you dumb. So stupid. You think this stuff's smarter than you? Because they ain't want to insult nobody. Kind of. <laughs> but see, they get us to buy into it. See, you have the mind where you can sit down, you can, you, like, man, you can sit down and say, you know, I don't subscribe to what Tom Smith is saying. I don't believe it. I have, I got a resolve. I got answers that can combat, dispute what he's saying. Therefore, I choose not to entertain it. And you can leave and cut off. Computer can't do that. Computer can't do it. Y'all got it. You can do that. That's not a computer. That, how, how's something you make going to be smarter and better than you? Not possible. But they get you to believe it, though. So you think less of yourself. Okay? All right. That's how we have to do That's why Yahuwah worked with us sometime. We're getting ready to fight. He said, yeah, let me do this one. Cause I want you to thank you. <laughs> hey, I want you to thank you smarter than me. I want you to thank you stronger than me. He go here. He said, I'll I, I do this one. No, he let her go in and do something because you need to know where you at. Then he said, yeah, I got this one. Let me spot you. Isn't that right? Daniel spotted me one time. I said, damn, I'm going to do that one. He said, come on, preacher. You got it. He got that. I said, I, I picked that thing up and, and, and gummed out. I said, I said, little bump. Then you picked me in the weight up off the bench. I said, yeah, that's this one. He said, you good, preacher? I said, yeah, I'm good. I said, I ain't, I ain't do nothing. I said, I want was you good, Daniel. Isn't that right? Seats ain't open. Oh, yeah, I do want to take back two seats. I appreciate my young people. They be paying attention. They came and let me know. Very respectful. Said, I want to talk to you, Ross. I said, what is it? They said, you gave away two seats. They didn't belong to two people. Because they hadn't done They said they, they were actually beat out. Um, he brought, he said, him and Alex. Uh, Junior said, him and Alex actually had beat you out. They said, that seat, can they got. And who, who the other seat was? Who else? Alicia. They did. He said, Alicia. <laughs> they be white. They said, Rob, we just tell you. What they said, he said, Alice did beat him out. He said, so Ken ain't supposed to have that seat. <laughs> Are they watching? 
They make sure too many if they said folk that like that. We ain't just passing out no seat before they earn them in it. So they just be looking at y'all folk like folk run around got no seat. They're like, yeah, we'll talk to Rod later. Everybody, let them go ahead and enjoy doing serve. That's man, that seat, they like, oh, I'm being the man, cool. Yeah, them kids like, yeah, we'll tell them how to serve. So how do we get through Palau? Let them know, yeah, you, you ain't got that seat. <laughs> Somebody else see, you know what I mean? But um, that, that, that's our goal, to, better, to get ourselves in a better predicament, a better situation. Again, we are working on bettering ourselves, bettering our information, sourcing our information, so that gives us the validity to stand. Y'all got it? So I'll make sure we get understand. I, I, I got so much I want to do. Um, oh, yeah, you can cut it out a little bit, let it hit a little bit of that. Uh, one I can. <laughs> we'll start working on Hey with Friends Attitudes. <laughs> Volume one, page one. <laughs> now here with Clever. Man, let me tell you something. Hey with Head, we was on the phone, hey with Ed one on he said, uh, he said, Yeah, about all right? We like, well, he's like, I'm like, yeah. He said, he said, ooh, that's tight. I'm like, what time? He said, one of them was on. Um, he said, one of them on now. He said, I come through there, I was sitting out there. I said, man, I was hearing all that noise. I said, noise? He said, yeah. He said, they know who they will. They know who they are. I'm like, we're like, who is it? He said, okay. We're like, what noise you heard? He said, yeah. He said, he said, Joker sitting there reading. And so he's like, <coughs> <laughs> what's that? We're like, Leon talking about me. He said, they know who they were. He said, he said, man, I heard that joke in there. That joke going on, I said, I said, well, I said, well, Reed, I said, where did it start at? He said, he said, where you have them start? I said, Roman 15 and 4. He said, what you say? I said, read. I said, Roman 15, 4, read. <laughs> I, said, I said, hey, what well, they didn't start it. He said, I know it. I said, when it started? He said, um, what's up? <laughs> I said, goodness. He said, that joke a full blown. He said, like, like, I told Austin, I said, smell when that air roll whatever you go through. <laughs> Boy, he'll run. Listen, hey, he was just standing on him. He hit, what happened? Huh? Zero below, yeah, what oh, my goodness. <laughs> Boy, that thing, no one had me left. Listen, listen, our hand full. But uh, he, um, Kayla asked, asked about the, um, the chart. Our young people. How many of our young people don't know the Olive chart? Don't know how many of our grown people don't know the Olive Beth chart. Well, all I'm know don't know the Olive the Olive Beth chart. Said not without looking at it. I mean, I didn't look at it too. We need the new one, the one Boston did. Boston. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Kerry said he need a new Olive Beth chart. You made you made a new one. I, I didn't know about it either. What, look how he looking. He said, what y'all just heard him say? Did, am I the only one heard this? That man said, I said, how many of them know the Olive Bell chart? He was showing the hand, like, who know it, who don't know it then? They like, he said, he said, I said, what well, he said, I need that new one. I'm saying the new one? He said, yeah, the one Buster made the new one. So I was like, I didn't know nothing he had made the new one. That way about now. How long have been so with you? I know. How long have been y'all so with you that chart with the Koof is the eight? Y'all remember the one? That's the original one we first got. You still got that one? There's another one added. Twenty three, because he got that's the, well. It's always been twenty three. People just don't use the twenty third one much, which is the gun. It used to be about him. Well, well, we'll get it. What we'll do, we'll get it and we'll send it out. I'll try to, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll try to work some of it in. We'll, we'll look at it and work. Let me, let me say this too now. On the, um, with the Olive Beth chart, the one we use is one that I typically look at if I look at one, okay? I don't really have time to look at this stuff. I really don't. I, I be going so much. But the one that we put up, I typically use that one, and it's argumentative. Uh, for some people, because some people will holler about the coof is the is the eight. Some people will the monkey the eight. They will argue certain things. The sod is actually a person laying on their side. 
That's the argument you'll have for some people too. There's a man laying on his side. I take a look at Detroit. Um, I kind of go back to look at um, the root of how things kind of came into play, how they kind of got different things and more descriptive about why I chose that chart from things I've read before. That's why I go back because that's why I'm more proponent for how they saw things. And I think for a lot of people, that's not the way they do it. They just kind of take a chart and that's what they kind of go with versus you're dealing with the people that's not here anymore. And these people had a relationship. So when you hear me argue a point or I establish a point, it's because I try to make sure I understand uh, uh, my logic is how did they understand it based upon the chart? Is this something that's practical that they would have known? You got what I'm saying? Some of the stuff that people are doing that's so technological, no, they wouldn't have known. It doesn't make sense. It's not their culture. You know what I'm saying? Certain things just not people culture. You can't go and force um, Western culture on an Eastern, you know, people with an Eastern dialect, you know what I'm saying, uh, Eastern culture, it's going to be different the way they do things. You'll have, like, with certain Eastern cultures, you come in the house, because of how the things work, the first thing they offer you a green you come in is to wash your feet. Because you typically are in the sand, you're in areas where you walk through a lot of dirt. They do a lot of things on the foot, that's why we look at the gam, the foot. Because typically everything they did involved them being on their feet. Abraham, we know something he did on his feet. What he had to do? Walk the whole length of the land, of the bed. You see what I'm saying? So typically, you know, he don't want to wash your feet. Guess what happens with some people when they come and they get in the house sometimes? They had to soak their feet. Because they've been on them so long. So the washing of feet, because of the Eastern culture, because they do that, this is just some customary they did. When Yahushua came and sat down in the house, what did the woman do to him? She began to wash his feet. That's a prayer how they invite and greet people in, understanding how the house is set up the best. What's off limit? Like your friends come to the house with your parents, I don't want nobody in my room. Everybody know that's sacred territory. You don't go in there for them. You go in your mom's room. Oh, he's in the room. He's in the room. He's in the room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, I mean, yeah, the angels be singing around. He'd be like, they see me in here? Because you know that's the inner sanctum. You don't go in your parents' room. So I'm saying? So when we see our chart and we see the cough, the cough, the dividing wall that separates, we understand it from our way out. There were places off limits. So you understand the same way with their home. There was certain area you had, you bring people in and you let them know, this is where we dine. This is the area that we can come into. This is the area that's permitted. Well, that's the same thing we set up the, when he set the bath up or the tent. When they set the tent up, and then when they hit, would go in, they would offer sacrifices. There were places were off limit. Y'all got it? Even they come to the to the Kohan, who they were called the priests, where there was certain things that were liberty to the Kohan. Y'all got it? And the Kohan even be looked at even with the father, because he was the person designate that could go into the inner sanctum. Y'all got it? So with the Kohan, in the 17th chapter of the book of Shaphat, or Shaphatim, they called judges, when the man made a house of gods, Alahims, he took one and made him a Kohan. And you know what he told him to do? He told him to be an Abba unto him. So it's not impossible for us to see. All right, that's why you look at the Catholic Church. They'll get a priest. What they'll call him? Father. 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 They took it from your book. Because you look at there were places, things your dad could do, you couldn't do. So the Kohan would be looked at as a father. Make sense? That's how we practice it, but you have to be familiar with the culture. Those are the things America don't get. Everything we learn about the culture, we learn from them people. Anytime they show you by the East, they're going to show you Chinese people. It's always going to be Chinese. They're going to show you the East, or they're going to show, well, they show you the Middle East. It won't be that. Anytime they show us Middle East, it's always going to be Islamic. It's never our people. It's always going to be typically Islamic type people. You got know what I'm saying? Nothing that will actually denote your existence in the Middle East. You'll see a couple of black shades of the dark-skinned people on the news. They don't show you none. It'll be like one every spook, every blue moon. Plenty of us everywhere. There's plenty of us in China. You will never see China put up no pictures, show no news story, walking out the street, all no, no niggas. You be thinking, because you'll stop and say, bad that thing. You're like, that's a nigga? There's plenty of people. How many of y'all didn't know? There's plenty of us in China. There's so many of us in China. Ridiculous. He won't show it to you. Because then more y'all will start going. 
There's a lot of our people that moved back to Africa. And they ain't wearing dashikis. I don't know what they fuck, man, institution, learning institution. You got them right there in Africa, but you know where everybody want to go? Study abroad means go to Paris, go to France. Go to study abroad for nigga means go to Europe. Very few niggas would go back to Africa and study. You're going back to the oldest civilization here. You go back, they call it the motherland. The mother is the birth of They look at all these bastards came out from Africa. Africa region is larger than what these people told you. A white man can't draw no line and tell me that's how big Africa is. It's your, actually your larger, it's your largest continent. But he won't tell you that. Why would I tell you that you come from a place that larger and you call it the mother? They folk can't call none of the other places no motherland. Africa, everybody birthed out from there. Everybody originated, started, even your book tells you that. People were dispersed from Africa. But he won't tell you that. Well, that's why I'm here. All right. So some kind of way, with everything I said, we got to try to make I rewrote this already. Got to paint that fresh. Rest of it don't make no difference. I can put it back and go back and do it again, however much you will see fit. So what we'll try to do, most how willing, then we'll try to look at the chart. Because I want to try to get time to our young people. Because if we don't, somebody else will. That makes sense? That's good to have a refresher for all of us. And some kind of way I can teach something to. How about that? All right. This is going to give us sound to Kato Sarah. I think an ice cube fell out. When I was gonna come. That must have been a make up for last night. <laughs> All right, most high Kudasha, which is separated Father, how do once again for allowing us to assemble to be here in your piney, which is your presence. We ask you to baraka us and let your piney or or upon us, which is your face uh, lighten upon us. Let your piney be our encampment and our protection, which is uh, your presence. Um, ask you to baraka and fill our lobs with your ahab, which is our hearts with your affection. For we are Yakra by your Shem, Yahuwah Elohim, the Most High, through Yahushua HaMashiach. We ask you to barak us and grant us an understanding that you will limit us, that we will be taught of you, that you will show us the Darak in which we should go, which is the way. We ask you to barak our regal, which are our feet, that we may know how to halak, which is how to walk, that we can please you with all. Uh, we ask you to continue to give us a staid mind, which is a law that we might know you according to full assurance of your katab. We ask you to search us and see if there be any rasha darak, which is any evil ways or wicked ways, and cast it from us and lead us into Arak everlasting, which is the way of life. Let the debar of our paw, which are the words of our mouth, let the meditation of our laws, which is of our hearts, be accepted in your sight, O Yahuwah, our Elohim, which is our mighty ones. Uh, and as we prepare to move further, we palau, which is which we ask that you take full control that you get the tahalim, the praises, the kabu, the glory, and the kabad, the honor. In the shem of Yahushua, Hamashiach, we palau. Let us all say, Amen. Oh, boy, here we go. I'll take my bag. Also, it's important to let the, uh, the members know I'm up past two minutes to two minutes and 59 seconds. I heard my first clap from off this side. To make a God of Satan. Is that the first person I heard clap, Junior? I could, uh oh, that's tight. We'll just let her hold it while she's in serving. She can hold that seat while she's in serving. Then you'll let her know who it, is, who it belonged to. You saw who the first one clapped. Well, how you said, well, 
Man, tell you, how you done took a seat and you don't even know who clapped for It was over him. It was in this area over him. So y'all going to try to let me know by when service over who it was. Whose seat? I could be careful. I think she coming over there. See about that seat. <laughs> so you, oh, you oh, don't do any mean mind mighty more. But that's some kind of way to know you're going to mouth. Cause you get that, you enjoy it, man. Thank you, right, man. Any mean that. Oh, 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 oh. That's how that go. Hold on. Any mean mighty more. Catch a nigga by the toe. If he holler, let him go. Any mean mighty more. So you don't never let him start with you. That's how it was. If you get started, let's say more than one. It got to be more. They started just two of y'all. They do that. Then, it, so you said, my mama told me to pick this one right over here. But she said, <laughs> yeah, you, you ain't going to win. So they do any, meeting my mother. Don't let them start with you. Like, start with them. Say, be fast. I want to be fast. Go ahead and start with them. That way it land on you. How many of y'all know, didn't know that? That's, I you specialize in that. Don't let them. They start with you. Either, you done. Uh, let's say, let me see if I do four people. Let me see. Any, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a nigga by the toe. If he holler, let him go. Eeny, meeny, mighty, mo. So you want to just say, what you do, before them, you say, yeah, I don't, yeah, you, they do them first. Be humble, have that humble, you be like, you can start with them. Like, you don't know them. Then if it's four people, you say, I'll be last. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're going to be it. Y'all got it. So I'm trying to help y'all strategize. If it's two people, start with you. How you, what you about to say? Look humble. Be look humble. Just say, go ahead and just start with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then like, it fell on me. Four people, where you want to be? Number two? Last. Last. There you go, Cody. What did he say about last? First. First. See that? That's how we put that thing together. Now, don't go put this all over the web somewhere and everybody be winning. <laughs> I right, want to look at this. Let me see. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. <laughs> 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 yeah. The time for our one <laughs> was written to show us. So we through endurance. That's right, without giving way. In the coom of the Kitubin. And constellation of the writings. Might have Tikva. That's right. We might have a core. It might have a connection of strength. Isn't that right? Um we're going to look put the put the chart up right quick before we move through. We'll just kind of look at it briefly. Oh, see how this will work out anyway. So y'all guys can't see this. If we can, um, Boston can't. Um, he, they can get to the sec to the secretary. They can email it to everybody. So we'll make sure to get an email. How many of y'all don't have this? This chart, okay. They can email this chart to you guys so y'all can have it. So we talked about, again, what they call early. Some of us use ancient early because this will be the first. Like people say you get up early, that's typically before other people. They, they know that, that, you know, basically, you know, designate saying you get up before. So early, this is was before. This is the, the middle script, believed to be the middle script, which is now, it only became the middle after this, which would have been our second style of writing, okay? Still the same premise, just a different style, dialect, I mean, different writing style. And this is the last writing style that would believe to be given us, which is the, what they would call the Martin, or which they'll call the late, because this one came last. Okay, so you'll get those. Some of y'all might see ancient, middle, modern, early, middle. What does this one say? Did this say middle? It does say middle? Okay, uh, I got so how. Then uh, late, so this would be, all right, middle, so this late would be the modern script. I am very favorable to this. I love this. I do, I hop this. So we talked about the olive, which is our first. Now, also, with using this, <laughs> well, that's, well, that's tight. All right, so this is the olive. Where my young people at? All right, I'm sitting there calling them out. At least you're way too old. All right, this is, so when I point them, y'all gonna tell me what it is without looking at this? That's tight. So, boss, can we see this and cut it so they can't see this right quick? I'm gonna see if they call them then. Can you let me see that? Yeah. That's tight. I just want to see the, uh, the pictures. These, yeah, that they're gonna hurt me over him. I already see the other teenagers are that cheating. That's right. Isn't that right? Tell on them. Because we do have to get 
familiar with them without just seeing the words. Then we go back and kind of look at them. Okay, appreciate that, Boston. So now I'm going to go to these and I'm going to let them call. If I point at you, I want to know what, what we're looking at. Well, I'll call your name. Y'all got it? All right. Adam. No. The, uh, <laughs> tell me, the one with Eve. I call it Nanny Joseph. No, the one with Eve. Which one is here? We four, hey, we four. You should have clapped last night, hey. You remember what this is? What is it? How, let me hear you. How, let me hear you not say it again. I hear it a little louder. He's exactly right, Olive. I want y'all saying Allah. You're not saying it right. It's the Olive. Y'all got it? It's the Olive. That's it. Although it's spelled A L, some of do it A L E P H. We do A L A P H because they're trying to get an enunciation. Again, what are they using? Vowel points. So they're saying when it's enunciated, it's the olive. The olive. Y'all got it? All right. So let me see. Somebody else going here. Uh, mm -hmm. Jordan. That's right. Malvin said it again. That's right. Yeah, that's it. Beth. Yeah. Because it looked like a G kind of turned out for a minute. It threw me off. Isn't that right? That's right. So let me ask something. What is the Beth? Oh. Uh, what's up? Oh, you already heard it before, Brandon, because you had something. <laughs> I got got the ears. You already heard it. Who? <laughs> Naj was first. Naj got that seat. Matter of fact, if we were full before I got you, because hey, we got it. We throwing hey without you got that seat. Isn't that right? <laughs> so y'all see the house, okay? Then we'll go back and look at this. Now I got this one right here. Gabby. Are y'all serious? I hear from way back up here. The who? Let's see what the name of there, Boston. Gam. See that? I knew you got caught, didn't you? Go ahead and slap back over. <clears throat> because what's what's believed? With that, these were actually the word that the actually the the, the, the whole pronunciation of the gum all was actually added later. It's believed, okay? We weren't there, but that's what's believed. That's kind of why I more or less I kind of lean toward this chart. Again, a lot of it becomes argumentative, but it's believed that it was actually the gam, okay? So the gamal. <clears throat> Junior. Who? What's the doll? Oh, you're helping my alley. What's the doll? I didn't say doll. What'd you say? Doll. Yeah, I heard doll. I said, what's the doll? Huh? You remember the word? I know right. Joseph, what's the doll? That's, I like that. That's a, it's the look he give with it. It ain't no answer though, is it? <laughs> he favorite that joke. He's so deep in that look. That's sweet right there. That's one. All right. He ain't tell what the doll is. He said the doll is the door. That's right. That's right, that's the door. Uh-oh. Danny. The limit. Let's look and see what the name is. The lamb. But it's up there pronounced the limit. The lamb. What is this used for? The teach. That's right. Y'all dis anybody disagree? That's right, the teeth. Maya. <laughs> Don't you try to faint on me either, Joker. Mmm. Mmm. 
Jace, you know the answer? And Maya can't get it. Caleb, you know the answer. Slide over and let me see what the answer is to it. He said, Slide over. Who know the answer? Nigel, nice. what's the answer? The side? Hmm. Hold on. What, what? Hold on. You got to answer, Buck. What is it, Buck? Who? I can hear you. Who is that? The summer? <laughs> you saying the summit? What you say, Ian? It's a mug. It's a mug. Slide over. Slide over. Slide over. Slide Slide over. The shun. Hold on, brother. It said a sin. <laughs> sin. You put sin short for what? For the for the summit. So the summit is like what they'll use today. You'll see like, um, how many of y'all familiar seeing fences? At the top of some of the fences, you'll see that little barb twist. You see no little twist? That's what it's used for. See, who we know, who do we know we can correlate that with? He got you right there. Who is it? Tell, tell me about Yastakop. Like, uh, if there be no interpreter, let him speak. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Where, where, where you'll find this, typically, if you slide over just a little bit, you see the modern look, almost that little twist. You'll say, I mean, almost that, so you lay it down. So back then, like we did, you could put sticker bars down for defense, for protection. That's why we gate a fence, because people will jump over unless you got that little, you'll see sometimes people put the barbed wire at the top. It's for a defense. Y'all got it? And Adam was the first person we knew that correlated with using something similar to this because he told him we were going to put him out there where he's going to get thorns, he's going to get stuck where he would put in that. Y'all got it? Okay. For some reason, I'm being led to call Joseph. What did it, Joseph? You said none. It's not the Catholic Church. Did you say none? Now I know what he's trying to say, he's saying the noon. Do you know what the noon is? He done an educated look thinking again. Joseph, do that mean you know the answer when you're doing that look? <laughs> but Joseph, you hold us like you think of Joseph said. If you move, what are you saying when you're moving your lip? How close are you to the answer? He said, right there, close. Yeah, there. All right, what we got, uh, Joy? The seed. That's right, the seed. All right, let's go. Let's see. Mm -mm. I know they ain't going to know this one. I know they ain't going to know it. How many of them know the answer? So them the people I ain't going to call on. Don't try to raise your hand. Now, toss it. Yeah, let me raise my hand, too. Let me see. Brandon. What you thinking? Aria, what is it? What you say? Oh my goodness. What you say, Aria? Did Aria raise her hand and say, I don't know? Oh no, oh my goodness. This is the gun. This is the one. This is the added olive bed that a lot of people don't know. The rope is the gun. It's one that people barely is is rarely used. That's why most people just use the 22, because this will be your 23rd. Typically, they, a lot of people just don't use it for whatever reason. I think they feel like it's not, you know, commonly used. Well, they're gonna write down. All right, Mikael, what it is? The rush. What is the rush? Who? I say it louder. The head. That's right. The head. The captain. The chief. J. 
Jays. You know what that is? How many young people know what this is? Tamir, you know what this is? Can you see it? You know what it is? What is it, Gavin? The shun. What is the shun? All right, we'll come back to it. Shane, what it is? Who? That man be quiet, but he'll have an answer for you, won't he? That's right, he don't know. Alex. Hold on for a Why you got to stand up? <laughs> Try to show your presence. Try to show your presence, okay. <laughs> the who? The call? Say it again, let's hear it. He said a call? The call? The call. And you told him to say it again. So you sponsoring and getting photo for not saying stuff wrong. How you think Boston the field see you just keep going? He don't stand on it. Even if it's wrong, stand on it. You go, it's the coof. The coof. So the coof, you remember what the coof is? You remember what the coof is? The who? Is it the who? The pig? Mm, I know what you think about it. Okay. Well, I get it for you. The kuf is supposed to be the shamash coming up on the horizon. Okay, that's what it's supposed to be. It's coming up on the horizon. Typically, what we'll typically see it, they'll show a line going across this way, and then they're coming up. Someone will say it's the monkey or the eight nose. They'll associate it saying it's the monkey or the eight. What's well, the only thing about the eight is that when we got right, it's about eight. It was when uh, Shaluma actually had imported them from Lebanon. So they weren't indigenous to our area, to where we were in Jerusalem. We know that everything started in the gun, but just like with the people, things were dispersed into different areas. So Shalumia, Shaluma, who the, was Shalima, who they called Solomon, actually imported apes and brought them over on ships from Lebanon. So this is the thing I have to look at when you're looking at our communication. Would it be something that they would have used, and this is the communication with Yahuwah, and they weren't familiar with it? The early people would have been at the first, but then after they were dispersed, other people been using language about something they didn't know. It, in a way, it doesn't make sense to have a communication about something you don't know. You know, we could be talking, and you say something, and they say, nigga, shut up. You don't even know what you're talking about. Y'all got it? So it would be imperative that what they used would have been something that they would have been familiar with, like watching the sun come up. You got people do that, say, I just like to see the sun set. I just like to see it come up. So this would have been something because man typically biological clock when the shamash is down, so is he. So as the shamash come up, the biological clock is doing him like this. And by the time it comes up, He's already rising. Y'all got it. So this would have been something that seemed more probable, more likely, that they would have been accustomed to versus a monkey nose. That makes sense to y'all? So everything, how I look at it, is I have to look at what would have been common, not an animal that they weren't accustomed to. Just like the olive would have been accustomed because they would have had to use the olive even in the sacrifices. Y'all got it. We typically talk about the red heifer. It was symbolic, okay? Let me get some rain coming. Uh, um, Xavier, the Gamal, give him a hand clap. No, no, we can't do that. What's your, no, Zay, what's your, Zay, what, what church you been going to? No, <laughs> the kids don't get a pass. Now, this, this, who does, who knows what it is? Trying to get what my young folks I ain't got yet. Which one of my young people know what this is? All right, now y'all see if it again. Tell them what it is. It's the paw. The paw is the opening of the mouth. 
That's what it's supposed to be, the opening of the mouth, okay? What else we got? Oh, I don't know. Joy? He again. Joy? He's at the park. I hear daddy be sitting out doing that. Remember that right, Daha? <laughs> he was just saying, that's right, Daha, which is a person with the hands raised towards Shaman looking for direction. Like we'll ask, when I ask Yahuwah, the directors, I'll say, Hala. Y'all got it? Hala. Because Daha is a man that's looking for something. Direction, guidance. So that's why we use hala based off of this. Why don't you raise your hand? Oh, he said, thought of. Look, Cam, you got an answer. He said, nah, he said, but I figured the rest of them didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> I know he said, he said, where my young people at? Makari, what I got? Who? The cough. Did he say the cough? That's all right. This, how you know this? Because it's symbolic to the thing wrapped around your daddy neck. The car. <laughs> <That's, laughs> everybody get a seat. <laughs> yeah. Y'all jokers are crazy. Y'all know that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the car. That's the car. So that's the wall. So we understand that one? He ain't got it now. He said he can't wait on y'all. Nobody had that. Who? All right, Joseph, what is it? The basket. <laughs> Which is the teat? That's right, the teat is how you pronounce that right, the teat. What is it, Alan? If he can't get it, who got the answer? Yard. That's right, the yard. That's right. That's right. That's right. I got a hand back down. Where my young people at? Moo. You know what they say, Moo? Moo look like he would call me now. What did they Moo? A brick? Did she say a brick? A fork? <laughs> Uh, man, it's the ooh. That's right, the ooh. So you would stick it in some though. Like before they said stick a fork in it. You would the ooh. That's right, the pig. Did I miss one of them? Man, sure right. Y'all hear that? Y'all going on a fast. That's right. Who I got? Uh, oh, I, I got one more. One more young people. Now my young people know what this is? Y'all don't know what it is? I got somebody. Uh, Brandon? The Zen, that's right. That's right, good, they're good. Mm -mm. I forget one I know. Oh, no, no, come down to the bottom. I think the bottom ain't good. Mm -hmm. Let me see who I ain't got. Hold on for me, I got uh, Candom. The who? That's right, the oom. Um. That's right, the I. What you do with, what do you do with the oom? Um? See, si, that's right. See, si, see, si, senor. That way Jesse feel better. What I got in this? Then it. If y'all could wait till we get a vacancy. <laughs> so we already got, that's the last one, the, the gun. Hold on a second. Thank you, Jesse. I mean, I appreciate it. I'm saying. Oh, this, this, or that. Let me see the top. He said I forgot something. Oh, no, come up. I'm sorry, go back now, huh? Uh, where we did? Oh, right here. Uh uh, Mikael. Who? The cough. What is this? The cough. So you know it's the cough, though. I got you. Now we'll stroll over and look at the name. I forgot another. Hold on. Let me see. I have to go all the way down. There. I forget one at the bottom. The last one. That's right. The last letter. I, I stroll all the way down. I know all my young people hand out bill for this one. Gabby, what it is? The two. That's right. Two, two, beep, beep. That's right. That's the mall. That's right. So we'll slide over right quick and we'll look at the names. And 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 again, 
it's important for us to learn this and know this because this, this is the early communication and this is the communication that he had with them. Y'all got it? This was their connection right here. This is how they communicated and this is how Allahim communicated with them. So if they didn't know this, what was their communication? Didn't have, didn't have any. So that's the same thing we're trying to do spiritually. Ruachni is trying to make sure that we have a communication with them. Because if he was going to communicate anything to them, if he was going to uh, uh, get them type, any type of information, or if they were going to know him, they were going to have to know the writings. What you got for me, Joy? Oh, that's right. Let me see the men. Let me stroll down. Let me see. Let me see the child. I'm gonna see. Tell me where the men at when I go down there, Joy. Tell me when I hit it. Come on. Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, oh, okay. I was wondering when y'all were going to find it. That's right. So, so again, if you, if you want a relationship with Yahuwah, you want to know how to communicate with him. Um, one person that uh, we can see the importance of, of in communicating with him is understanding how he communicates. A lot of times we've missed how Yahuwah communicates. He's tried to communicate with us, and we missed it because we had lack of information. We weren't familiar with him. This is how now we start to build our relationship with him, is learning how does he communicate? What does he recognize? He recognized that certain things that we did as a craft, he said, this is what I'll use to get you to understand how I operate, what I'm trying to communicate. That's why it's important for us to go over this periodically so we'll know it. Let's uh, start the first one. You can kind of minimize a little bit. I think they still know it. So we, we talked about begin the they'll put the the ox head, which makes no sense if the aleph, okay? They'll call it the ox head. This, can we slide over and see what it, what is this for? So we talked about this last night. What are we talking about? Strong to move heavy weights. That's demanding task. Things that can be really demanding. Y'all got it? That's good. Our young people are smart. And we want them to be smart. Because that's something we want to make sure we understand what the olive can do. You think about this. Yahuwah told us that he was the olive. Not just first. He told us he was strong. Which means he can lift heavy weights. When we set in captivity, you ain't going to believe it. That was heavy weight does. When he told us, when he told Musha. One of our most revered, one of our greatest, um, Yasha. First person we knew for us to be a Yasha, other than Abraham, because he came and got loot out. Um, the thing he let him know, that he had heard our sob by reason of our test masters and our burden. Burdens are typically things that's kind of weighty on you. You know what I'm saying? So we needed to know what he said he could do. He told us that he was the olive. That I didn't know he was strong. What that mean he could do? He can bench 405 pounds? That if I had burdens that were heavy on me, I could depend on him to do that. If I had demanding tasks like I need my, I want my help, I, I need a job, I need monies, I need a place to stay, I need to be able to get around, to be able to get to work, just use the, that's a lot you're asking for. So I need somebody, he's telling me I can handle demanding tasks. That doesn't make me falter. That doesn't make me break. You got it? Because typically, a lot of times, what people do when they get problems in situations, we tend, to, we tend to basically just bottle them in. It's a lot. You say, well, what's going on with you? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a lot. Because it's heavy. It's demanding. It requires a lot. But Yahuwah said, guess what? I can do that. Let's look and see how. Pick me up right quick at 11 and 28 of the book of Matthew. Matthiahu. Get to Yahuwah, Matthiahu. 11.28. Because, again, you got to look at how they would have saw him. So since we understand the words and understand what they mean, and we understand what his ability is when he say he can do it. Sometimes you have so much going on you, you just, 
just want to be left alone. You don't even want to talk about it. You don't want to be bothered with it because it's so much. Well, he said, you know, I specialize in that. See, that's, that's, that's one of the things I specialize in. That's one of his traits. That's a trait of the olive, being strong, heavy weights, demanding rigorous tasks. He said, I handle that. I specialize in that. That's what he said. That one says, come. Listen. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. See that? Now, here it says, turn. I mean, which, which really make kind of more sense. Because it was always about them, you know, changing their direction. It still will put them at coming because you're kind of, when you're turning, you're actually the sense coming closer to him in just the mere fact you turn. But it was us turning, letting us know for me saying turn. The reason why I've got myself here into the labors and the burdens is simply because of my point of direction. Mm -hmm. Look at where we are now. These people give us false direction, premises of what's east and what's, and that's part of the uh, protocol of what was set up by Shalomah that when we got put to the worst, if we couldn't get back, that we could do what? We could turn toward. So now our deliverance don't have to, you, you didn't have to physically be in Jerusalem because he knew that we would be captive and that wouldn't be possible. Then you all could not just get up and say, yeah, I'll be back uh, for the Shemite say, I'm finna head to Jerusalem so I can pull out. I took you captive. You can't leave here and go nowhere. But you, uh, the stipulation was that if we turn toward. So this would be a communication just in what he's saying that it, it sparked my memory to say, that's part of the agreement we made. Come unto me, all you. If it, come, let me say, let me buy you for a second. I want you, to, right, right there. Come on for a second. I want you to um, hold his hand. Go ahead, hold his arm, and don't let him move. No, no. Go stand on the other side. He, he finna come to me. All right, come to me. Come to me. All that burden, heavy lay. See, that's the restriction. But guess what he could do? Face that direction over there. Now turn to me. That he can do. So to say, come if you're in a restricted area, restricted setting, you can't get there. So this is part of what we were told, that you could turn. So that makes sense. That's logical. That's good. Appreciate it. Um, let's see so we can verify the information. should be um, Beth Dabari Hayamin. They call Second Chronicles. See if that's 6. Ooh, see if that's 6 and about 11. We have to read down. They call it Second Chronicles. Dabari Somebody says, no, not 714. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure y'all ain't that rusty. Y'all looking at if my people which are called by my name. But listen, before you got there, you got to look at how you got there. Well, I appreciate the help. No, they, did, they did good, 16 level. They thinking. That's what we are. We're thinking people. Even when y'all call the answer is wrong, it, like I said, it might not necessarily be wrong. Some of them are completely wrong. Austin. Some of them be completely wrong. <laughs> but then, it, it, you know, it just, it kind of at least puts you in a parameter because you're starting to think, you know what I'm saying, based off of the information you have. That's the whole point. It's supposed to spark you to think, okay? Let's see what he told us. This is 1611. Listen, I'm trying to drop down. Let's see what it says. Listen. And in it have I put the Taba wherein is the Baruch. Hold on, let's see. This, let me see if it says, this might not be Taba. Taba is box. It might be box. Taba. Uh, uh, the Haran. Haran is what he called it. Kaaba box. Haran, okay. Haran. Can we see what the Haran is? Because sometimes, you know, sometimes you use different names depending on when you're writing, what you're speaking of. A box, okay? He put the box. Okay, the chest, or they put the coffin. Y'all got it? All right? All right, let's go. Aron. Aron is how you pronounce it. Okay. Have I said the Aron? In which there is the Barith of Yahuwah that he made with the Benim of Yasharal. Okay. Wow. And he stood before the altar of Yahuwah in the presence of all the Adah of Yasharal and spread forth his hands. So what was he doing? Uh, 
That's what they were doing. In front of all the assembly. Y'all see that? And for Yahuwah, and that's what he was doing. That's what he was doing. That's the point, because that's what Yahushua was doing. That's why it was important that they should look on him. What were they doing if they were looking on him? They were being taught. They were being taught. The eye gives knowledge. Right? They tell you that knowledge is power so you can lift heavy weights. So you can do demanding rigorous tasks. So all that's important for us. And he stood before the altar of Yahuwah in the presence of all the assembly of Yashra and spread out his hand. So don't you know them people were looking at Yahushua when he was up there? That's why they were looking. Because this is like what I read. Let's see what happened. For Shalomah had made a brass and skull full of five cubits long. Brass and platform, five cubits wide and? Five cubits broad and three cubits high and had set it in the midst of the court. And upon it he stood and kneeled down upon his knees before all the Adah of Yasharal and spread forth his hands toward Shamayim. All right, listen. And said, O Yahuwah Allahim of Yasharal, there is no Allahim like thee in the Shamayim, nor in the Arats, which keepeth, bereath, and sheweth Rakam unto his Abedin, that halak before thee with all their love. Now, Shaloma came, Shalomah came up with this one on his own, this statement. Did he? Where he get it from? He got it from the Torah. He told you I'd do that. He told you I'd keep covenant with them. And I by no means clear the guilty. So all he reciting back is what he knew. How would he know that? Because that was taught it to him? <laughs> See, he kept a copy of the law. Y'all see how Austin make up his own stuff? Is Austin correct? Where did you get that from? In the book of Allah Hadabarim. And in the 17th chapter, 17, no, 11th chapter, he told them that, you, 17th chapter, I might want to think I'm going to say, he talked about them when they get them a malah, after they seen the other green have one. And when you establish him, you should no mean put him over you except one of your own. That's why you'll understand why Pelotus tried to tell them, who do you want me to crucify? Barnaba or Yahushua? Who he told them that was? That's right. He, he's one of yours. He's yours. That's what he tried to let them know. He let them know, signifying he is your Malak. Because the person you were going to put over you had to be one of your own. We couldn't take nobody else. <laughs> when Jesus been one of you? King Jesus. You see the ignorance and stupidity of us. You were told in no wise you weren't supposed to put anybody over you that wasn't one of yours. You weren't supposed to do it. Why would that man build a brazen, a brazen platform and, be, and set it black behind down on it? Because he looked just like you. You were not supposed to put anybody over you that wasn't one of you. The folk got bit by a snake. They put that same color snake over him. Hello? They weren't supposed to be over you. Okay, let's see. But look at, but then he sh they're keeping Berith and showing Rekom to your Abedin who halak before you with all their, that's the difference. You, know, you were told how this was the second part of one of the main, well, the first part of your Berith, of your uh, Amar, your commandments. The fact that you were supposed to have no other one you weren't supposed to bow down before any of them. You were supposed to acknowledge his days, his yamin, and all the different things you were supposed to do, those first five, was because you were going to be doing this with all your law. That was somebody you served him with all your law, that you're not doing it. Hello? That's why they couldn't get the uh, three abari uh, unashamed to fall down on their knees, because they were already told you weren't supposed to bow down and worship them. At the sound of the sackbot, the toot, the hut, and the sultry, all that, everybody supposed to fall down. That's why they wouldn't do it. Because they had locked before with all their law. They knew this would be contrary. How was he going to show me recon? That's why he wouldn't do it. They said, well, if he don't deliver, he able. It's not because, but they were looking at it. They were not going to break his rib. You know what we'll look at? Well, sometimes you got to do stuff. 
but he know your heart. Why they didn't just do it? He would have known their heart. They was in captivity. They were captive. Why he know that he just know their heart? He just gone and do it. It ain't like you really believe it. See, this is the idea that you're trying to rationalize with yourself here. There's just thing we look at, we can't do. They can do that. We can't do it. They look at, I can't do it. It's not possible. Even if it cost me my kai, that's what they were able to do only because they were, they, they were serving him, showering him with all their law. So if it cost them their life, their career, it does not matter. Yeah. My law is with you. Right. Who else told about their law being with them? I heard it back down there. You just said Deborah. She told her that her law was with the, with the governors of Yehuda. That's what she said. She said, my law was with the governors of Yehuda. Where is it going to be at? And we were told that we were going to get a governor. What was her law about? Wow. With Yehuda. With Yehushua. All right, let's see the next one. Thou yeah. which hast kept with thy Abad, thou which hath kept with thy Abad, Dawood, <laughs> that which thou <laughs> hast shall be him, and spaketh with thy pa, and hath fulfilled it with thine hand, as it is this you. See that? That's why he, can, he knew he'll be able to do it. Listen why. He's going back over what you've done. It's one thing to have a writing. It's another thing to have experience. He's, rec he's recited some that was writing. Now he's saying, look what you've done. You has kept with your Abad, Daoud, my Abba. That which you have spake to him. Indeed, you have spoken with your paw, your mouth, and have fulfilled it with your hands, as it is this yum. That's why he had confidence in him. So you got to have experience. The writers are good, but you got to get experience too. That's the purpose of it. So when you go through to get the experience, now you got something to validate the writing for you. I don't just validate because of what they said. I can validate because I got personal experiences. Now he's going back to look at what you told my Abba Dao you was going to do. You've done that. Then surely you'll keep the rest of what you amarred. All right, let's see. Now, therefore, O Yahuwah Elohim of Yasharal, keep with thy Abba, Daud, my Abba, that which thou hast shabba him, saying, There shall not fail thee a ish in my sight to sit upon the throne of Yasharal, yet so that thy Banim take heed to their Darak, to Halak, and my Torah, as thou hast Halak before me. Okay, let me sit down. Now, therefore, O Yahuwah, the Elohim of Yasharal, keep with your Abad Dao, my Abba, that which you have spoke to him, saying, there shall not be cut off. How you cut off? The Zen. That which I saw the Zen is used to cut. That's right, to separate, cut off. He's saying, that, you know what? I won't ever separate it. I'll keep it, it'll be continual. Y'all see that? That which you spoke to him, saying, there shall not be cut off to you, Aish, before me setting on the throne of Yashraal, if only your Benin take heed to their, to Halak in, in my Torah, as you have walked Halak before me. He's saying, if everybody keep that pattern. So what happened with Yashraal? Got off. And he cut them off. He cut off of each. And he come back and reattach it. That's why we need the court. Isn't that right? That's why we need a reconnection. He told you only, so what we gonna say? They won't ever cut out. It don't make sense. He said, if only your Benin take heed to their Durant. You know, good and well, they didn't take heed to it. That's why we're here. But he told them what he would do. And to walk in my Torah as you have walked before me. If they keep that pattern, even he got off. All right, let's see. All right. Now then, O Yahuwah, Elohim of Yasharal, let thy Dabar be verified, which thou hast spoken unto thy Abad, Daoud. Mm -hmm. But For will Elohim in very deed dwell with Anashim on the Arats? Behold, Shamayim and the Shamayim of Shamayim cannot contain thee, how much less this Beth which I have built. Now, let me see. 
This would have been something that they would have stayed on and studied for a long time, contemplating how to get this to happen. Y'all see this? Getting him to come and to dwell inside of a bell was something they hard contemplated. But Yashara, I mean, but Yeshayahu came to let us know that he was going to be looking to a each. So we were trying to figure how to get him to dwell with Anashim. Hello? So we knew we were going to have to build him a place. We knew we were going to have to build him a place. Why was he establishing it? It was a place that we were going to establish that Elohim was going to come and he was going to dwell in it. So we built a physical structure and we put it down. And that place had to be kept and swept and had to be furnished a certain type of way and Elohim would come in. But he would leave. We need a place that he will come in and he'll stay. That's why Yahushua told that he will come in and he will make his abode. Would mean that we were going to have to have a noon type behavior, a continual behavior, that he would stay. Then we also learned that it wasn't a physical structure of brick and mortar. It was going to be dwelling inside of us. But we first had to learn how to invite him and get him to be uh, accept our invitation that he would come into the place. If I didn't learn how to get him into this place, how was I going to get him in here? Shalom was, Shalom, Shalom was already considered for a building. He said, I'll build it, but I put the Shamaim and the Shamaim can't even contain him. How much less is this place I'm going to build, going to hold, going to be sufficient that you're going to come? Not just to visit, I need you to come in and stay. I'll build it, but how are we going to get you to stay? How are we going to be able to hold you and keep you? Y'all got it? How much less this bed, which I have that's why the book told the Elohim didn't, deal in, didn't dwell in buildings made with hands. He said, I don't dwell in no buildings. We're trying to get him to come and dwell in our law. The writer declared the Elohim that commanded the Aur to shine out of Kashal. <laughs> so he's shining our law. That's what he is. And said, so we had this. Let's pick it up right quick. 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. Make it 4 and 4. Four and four be fine. Four and four, four and five, four, six, and seven. Okay. Second Corinthians four. Who finna read? Leon? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> so I ain't gotta worry about all that coughing and stuff. Go ahead, Lee. In whom the Allahim of this alone hath blinded the minds of them which among not. Let, 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 me say, let me read this one here. In whom the mighty ones, Allahims, of this alone. He was alarmed for world, has blinded, listen, the thoughts of those who lack Amunah. Go ahead, Lee. So that. The aura of the glorious to news of Mashiach, who is the image of Allahim, should shine unto them. That makes sense. So in the likeness, how we understand this? That's the way we understand it. They said, let us make each in our image, as our likeness. So we already start to recognize. See, some of this, even though it's what they call New Testament writing, I know it's English, but it already sparks our mind back. It makes sense, he told me, who is in the likeness of Elohim. So let's make a man that bear both our traits. Hello? They'll possess your image, but then he'll have my ruach. Let's make a man like that. That'll favor you, but he'll have my ruach. Yeah, I got it. But guess what happened? But because of the mighty ones around us, Jesus Christ and all these other gods they got in Hindu, the Hindus and the, 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 the all the other different religions they got here, the Buddhism, then it comes on there to blind your mind, your thoughts, how you think, and it'll cause you to lack Amana. You won't work toward the building of. So that there are ore of the glorious good news. Y'all can't what happened. It'll block it. 
See, when Allahim came and he spake and he caused our order to come, nothing, nothing prevented it. It couldn't prevent it. Even with Yahushua, when he was moot and they put the stone in front, the book declared it was not possible they could prevent him. It was not possible to prevent him, but you can allow things to happen. Y'all got it. You can be a blocker to yourself. Y'all got it? So that the light, the oil of the glorious good news of the Mashiach, who is the likeness of the Elohim, the mighty ones, should not What happened when our oil came into the arise? They didn't understand it, but then what else happened? Somebody said nothing. That's when we begin to see all the creation of Elohim. That's how we start to understand him. That's what denoted him, his creation, his works. Don't y'all know there are people that certain artists draw that people can pick them up by their work without their signature? There are certain people, musical, and they hear them playing, they can pick up what is Bach or Beethoven because they know their works. So if something blocks our thought process, how do we know it's Elohim? Then it keeps us from identifying his works. When our Ur came, it was, it was no way to defy that this was the work of Elohim. It never happened until he came. But when he came, we could clearly see. That's what light is, to make clear. When you don't understand something, you say, I got it. That's our Ur. But he gave you something physical that you can attach or or to, like the light. He said, well, I can't sometimes y'all see me around. Do this number. Because what I'm trying to do, make clear. I'm trying to make it clear. Y'all got it? When he told them to write the kazoom, make it clear. Make it clear. Sometimes people try to wipe their one out. They say, whoa, that thing dirty. And I can see better. That's all it is. That's our or. To make clear, but we understand it from the physical light, the physical shamash. Got it? So guess what happened? So now the Allahims, other things we'll do, we'll let out, guess who it could be Allahim? Your wife, your kids, your job, your career, yourself can be an Allahim. And guess what it'll do? It will block, it will blind the thoughts so you can't clearly understand the operation of Yahuwah. So now it keeps making, it keeps it from being clear in you. Because the only way he started creating was when the light came. So now I want him to make me a new creature. No light. What was he creating in the dark? My heart is dark. My thought process is blocked. Save me. Give me the Ruach HaKadosh. What's the problem? I'm asking. Huh? I got to let our oil come in. So he can start to make these things happen. That makes sense now. So the light has to come in for it to happen, but my heart is still hard. I still can't conform and do because the other Allahims are blinding me or blocking. But I want to be saved. I'm trying to get, I really am. See, the only reason why a lot of times we ain't got it because we ain't understood what the blockers. See? Should not shine on them. And we understand this in creation. Let's see right quick. Barashit. Let me make sure we understand it from creation. Barashit. In the beginning. feel the same way. I know. I hope your pastor get better too. <laughs> she said, that's the second time that nigga ain't showed up. I know. Sometimes you don't believe it. Pastors get sick too. <laughs> this is Barashit one and one. Let's see what he said. Barashit, Alahim, Barah, the Shamayim, and the Arat. See that? In the beginning, that's the start. At the first, Alahim created Barah, the Shamayim, and the Arats. Let's see what he told us. And, and the, the Arats was without form and void. And Kashat was upon the pine of the deep. Listen, so that's a blocker. Come on. 
and the Ruach of Elohim moved upon the Pani of the Mayim. See that? Hovered and moved over the faces of the waters. Let's see what happened. And Elohim said, let there be Aur. And there was Aur. So let's see what happened. Four. And Elohim saw the Aur, that it was two. And Elohim divided the Aur from the Kashat. See that? Listen. And Elohim Kara, the Aura, Yum, yeah. and the Kashat, he called Layla in the evening and the morning with the first Yum. Let's see what happened. And Elohim said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the Mayim, and let it divide the Mayim from the Mayim. Yes. And Elohim made the firmament and divided the Mayim which were under the firmament from the Mayim which were above the firmament. And it was so. Okay. And Elohim Kara, the firmament, Shamayim, in the evening and the morning were the second yun. Let's see what happened. And Elohim said, let the Mayim under the Shamayim. Oh, 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 oh. Something happened in my eye. Where we went? Where we went? We're at verse 9. Then Elohim said, let the Mayim under the Shamayim be gathered together unto one Malkum, and let the dry Aras appear, and it was so. Let's see what happened. In Elohim Kara, the dry Aras, the dry Aduma Aras, in gathering together of the Mayim Kara he Yam, and Elohim saw that it was two. What did you just say? You say you called it, no, no, you call it, yeah. Man, this is, how many words are we looking at? Are we doing here? For land? So the Yah is for the dry? But Shah is for dry land or for land? So we'll know the right enunciation. It's the one word, all of it's one word. Okay. That's what we're here to do to learn. Uh, yeah, because we so we can see. Yabasha, Yabasha, is for dry ground. Y'all got that? Y'all want to write that down? So when we come back, that we'll know what to call it. That's that's the uh, right pronunciation of Rashi. Yabasha. You actually don't have to put two B's, but they kind of wrote that in a nun stage. They're like, with Shabbat, you do two B's, uh, only in sound. Uh, let's say A. Final form. Ah. Yabasha. For dry ground. Y'all have it? Okay. Let's see what happened. All right. Then, Elohim said, let the Arats bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the pari, ox yielding pari after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the Arats, and it was so. So, and, and just kind of going back over that, just looking, so we kind of got an understanding of how things kind of came in existence and operation, that there was nothing, it was void, and it had no form. So then we understand why Elohim came, what he saw and what he dealt with when he came down to us. How about the darkness? The darkness prevents light. So we had to get something that can break through the Kashak and get in, and once they enter in, it was able to go in deep enough that seed could be planted. And that's the same thing we're looking at. You saw he also came in, and before he would get seed and start to bring forth vegetation, he separated some people from some people. It's important for you to know that. They talk about Elohim going over the Tahu, Tahu, which is the deeps, the depths. That's what we got to do to get into the inner parts. 
Just like when you put a seed. You don't put a seed on the surface. There's some stuff you can't, some ground you throw on the surface, but you go on to get root, you'll till the ground. So you can get seed to go down in it. In order for him to do that, you know what he needed to do? It wasn't tearing the ground, it was him separating the people. Because the people come in and work as Allahim, they'll blind you. They'll block you. That's just being honest. So see, vegetation can't come in, you can't get grow. And that's what we start to look at and understand the importance when he start to talk to us about these things, preventing certain things from happening and our oil coming in. We have to understand what happened when our oil came in. Then he started to move into grow. Then with light, you can clearly see, guess, come on, I'm gonna need, you don't have to, but uh, I'm gonna need y'all to come over here, come on. Cause I'm looking at trying to put something together. Now, since light is in, it should be clear to you that you need to separate. Like sometimes people in marriages have to separate. So listen, think about this. So he caused the water to separate from the water. Where had the water been? Together. So that water hadn't caught for a common bond? Don't, that water hadn't had the same attributes? Well, I need y'all to separate. Mm -hmm. That's the only way I'm going to be able to get this to work. I'm going to need you to separate. Then I'm going to need to cause something to come up in between you. He said, and let the, the um, Yashaba come up, the dry ground come up. To make sure I keep you set. Now we understand how the cough works. If you're trying to obtain the Ruach HaKadah, the first thing you gotta do is be honest with yourself. Why are you trying to get it? I said, need some. Go get crack. Get crystal milk. There's a lot of stuff you can get, you just need some. If you're really trying to obtain knowledge, and you're really trying to, to, to be able to transform when this when moot comes in your life, that's for me. I'm gonna die. You're going to die. Then what? What you going to have in your re I used to come to service? I'm not coming to somebody and put somebody to the store I used to come to service. I'm trying to avoid eternal damnation. That's right. I don't want to burn. Then I'm going to have to be willing to do just what happened in Barashit. When the Ur comes and he speaks, I got to allow it to work. But if I got blinders on, it's going to damper and hinder me from getting what I'm trying to get. If I got a problem with separate, I don't want to separate. I've been, me and him been washing and waving too long together. Then hey, I can't do nothing with you. Then that's blinding you. That's keeping, that's preventing you. I can't do nothing with you. I don't get it. I just give up. It ain't real. He ain't real. Ain't no hell. Because I don't want to obey. That's the whole strictly what happened. Why, he, how am I creating that chaos? I got everybody going the same way. I can't do nothing with you. Why not, though? Break away. Break away. And then I'm going to put a separate between you so y'all can't get Why y'all think they tell you you got the Atlantic, you got the Platonic, you got the uh, Pacific, you got all Because there's a separation. That's a separation. It's a separation. We'll go to the Caribbean, the Caribbean water be right, we went, we went right on the other side. 16 mile, whole island, 16 mile. There was a total different look in the color of how the water operated. Mm. The same island, listen, mm. am I lying, Leon? Listen, nothing alike. It wasn't, they were simple, nothing alike. Mm. What the Atlantic was doing, what dog, it was, you go to the Caribbean, you go to the Caribbean, so he's saying it, it, it ain't, it, it, listen, it's calm. It's not the same, it's not, that's the same water. You'll be wrong. That's what people get you say. We all the same people, we not. Some, of us out, some people out of order, out of sync. Yeah. Mm. So that's why they get me to understand. You got to separate. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians 4. But I, I, I get to let y'all go down. I don't know where y'all are. I don't, I don't know. Man, I'm, I'm serious about this way, though. Mm. I ain't no time to keep playing around this second, this second guest food and stuff. They got to be real with it. You got to do something. That man showed up. He said, what y'all just saw? What you read about she? He said, that's what's going to happen in the end. That's right. I'm coming right back. I'm going to move with these people again. I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to separate. Mm -hmm. That's got to, he told you that you put a difference. That's right. That has to be a difference. Then you saw he called some of the Mayan to elevate. Mm -hmm. Some of it stayed. Yep. It's all about what you're willing to do. That's right. At the end of the day, it's all about what you want to do. You boil water. Some of them will take off early. Some of them, the last minute ago, you got some of that water. As soon as it starts steaming, I'm already leaving. Right. Some of them stay in there, keep holding on and keep boiling and keep popping. In whom the mighty one 
of this alarm has blinded, I use block, the thoughts of those who lack. Amana. Now, if amana is the building up of, then you got to put some work in. It's amazing. People just sit around, read, pray, believe, and do nothing and say, that didn't make sense to me. Even in creation, everything had to do something. Everything had to do something. Every arts had to produce. He didn't say, I'm going to go inside you and I'm going to push fruit out of you. I'm not doing nothing. I'm going to put you in and I'm going to give you the word. This is the creed I'm going to give you. And this is on you to do it. This is you putting a concerted effort in with what I tell you to do. He just tell water, water, go. Water obey. It submitted itself. It came under subjection. It was subservient to his voice, his call. That's what he's trying to get us to do, become subservient to his call. Listen to the sound. And now because you lack it, the building up in your, in your concerted effort of help working with it, so that the aura of the glorious good news of the Mashiach, who is the likeness of Elohim, should not shine on them. Let's see what he told us. For we preach not ourselves, but Mashiach Yahushua the Adon, and ourselves your Abedin for Yahushua's sake. He said that we're saying that he is. He said, because we're declaring that. We're saying that he is. He is the Adon, and ourselves are your Abedin. He put Abedin here. So yeah, all right, Abedin, for your sake, for the sake of Yahushua. All right. Let's see what happens. For Allahim, who Omar the Aura to shine out of Kashat, has shined in our law to give the Aura of knowledge of the kabood of Allahim in the Pani of Yahushua. Said that, that's what they told her. For the Allahim who said, Aura shall shine out of Kashat in the one who has shone in our, in our lobs to give us the Aura of the knowledge of the kabood of Allahim which is in the presence of the Mashiach. So that's how important our Ori is to make clear. That's how we get our knowledge, our information. But there are some things and there are some people that will come. In Galatians 1 and 6, he on the get it. He talked about how he marveled. So what you was again now? From him that did what? That's right, that call. That Yaku you into the con of the, unto another the bar, which is not. But there be some. He may say why he separated my in. Because all you're going to do is trouble him. So I had to separate. Let me tell you something. This is, this is, I don't know. Man, when y'all go in that way, it, it is so many things you have to constantly be in consideration of. I mean, even husband, wife, kids, whatever. You can be great, and one day the whole world comes to So many people separate take it out. You always just had to be in a mind considering where you got to be at. Nobody, nobody pre planned for it. Maybe it just happened to certain people. You know, it can happen to you. You think that 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 uh, Mayim, they had been there, coexisting together, nothing wrong, nothing right. I mean, you know, it, it's just what it is. And then all of a sudden, knowledge step in and say, yeah, this ain't going to work. Y'all got to separate. And you got to be willing to just conform to what he tell you to do so that you can get the knowledge of. Remember, the teacher would sit me, put me out of the office, put me out of the class, send me to the office. You know why? They said, because of what you're doing, you ain't learning nothing. You're not constructed, you're destructed. Get out of my class. And you can try to act like you're learning something to tell a lot, but you couldn't because there's other things you have going on. How many of y'all knew how that? Kid, you don't have, you're a teacher, you have kids doing a study, you got to get them out of your class. I guess y'all, they be thinking, what? For what? For what? <laughs> and guess what you're doing? You're hurting the other students. Yeah. You are a distraction. Guess what he looked at while he separated my in? Because you are a distraction. I'm going to put you over here, put, and I'm going to put um, Yashaba in between you, dry land, to keep you from coming back together again because you are hindering. Yeah. Even who should try to tell them that he that don't gather with him, he said, you're scattering. Because you're not with me. He tried to show them the reason why I can't work with you because you're scattering. You are not gathering with me. <laughs> it's so critical that they understood even the gathering of. Don't y'all know when we had Naomi and Ruth 
the daughter-in-law of Naomi. When they said, I, don't y'all know how people were when we, listen, when Yahushua told her, he that is with me, and he that was not against them, he said, scab the broad. Do you not know when they were gathered, they would not let her pick, not let her pick with them? First of all, you're not of the same nature, the same culture, you're not the same people. I wouldn't want you picking nothing with me. Go over there and pick with the other Goween. That's just how particularly we're about stuff. Because we pick and we do things a certain way so they understood his conversation. They went here. After a while, um, Boaz had to tell him. He said, listen, just drop some gleaming on the ground and let her pick it up. But she was not picking with us. So how do we view him? How do we view it when we let her pick with her? We don't, that's how he looked. So he looked at, if you are not gathering with me, then you are against me. Why would you tell people that who don't do farming? Who don't understand how to glean? Pick crop. Why would you tell that people that don't understand it? So your communication has to be to those who understand the nature of your speech, who understand custom, who understand time. A farmer's going to be cognizant of time. Snow out down the ground. Y'all ready? Let's go out here and let's start playing. With snow, he even told you how not as with the fool. How would I understand that? He says, like gathering in the snow. It's like, who's trying to gather in the snow? Is who's trying to get a to a fool? Only people understand that people that that's cognate of time and seasons. They're cognizant of it. It's not happening. Nobody going and pouring down. It's a hurricane. Come on, we got to get this stuff out the field. We're not blowing that stuff, man. We already should have picked before then. They have to keep up with that. Four, old folk knew. Oh, knee coming. It's going to be a cold winter. They know when they pick how they got to put up, how much they're going to be able to spend. They, they, old folk knew that when their knee get to hurting, elbow get hurting, they can just see, they pay attention. They can feel that like they're standing there sitting on the porch a lot. Old people sit on the porch a lot. Wouldn't it? You know the kind they would. They stand on the point. Them old folks say that. Old folks, they pay attention. Look at that time. Won't be long now. And they count time based on they look at harvesting and planting. They're paying attention to this stuff. Just like we would have to pay attention to the debar. It won't be long now. Won't be long. So now you start having to, you have to step back and you have to start looking at where people at. Why people got so many distractions? Why people got so much going on? At the end of the day, you got to look at, listen, Everybody has a sense of, I get lunacy. Everybody lunacy. Everybody, everybody off. Everybody, everybody off. Ain't nobody complete 100%. We all off to a degree. Because we all, we all sell at the same time. No matter how much words you get, you still sell. You never stop being sell. You try to get the, the, the less of you as possible and the most of him as possible. That's the first thing they encompass, okay? You still sell. It's still stuff you do a certain type of way because that's how you do stuff. Just like they did when they came down before they come from the market. What they do? Shoot, my hair grab me something, then I go wash up and I'm gonna eat eat my real food. That's just how they was. I'm not eating till I wash. You know what I'm saying? It's certain customary thing that people still do. That's them. Y'all got it? But we work to try to achieve the um, the ability to where it's more him and less of us. Work on the decreasing of us before you get to the death of us, okay? Not time hard to just kill everything. Let's work on the decreasing of ourselves, demising, breaking it down, getting rid of more of ourselves, taking more of the discipline of the word, getting more out of the overthinking stuff that we do, because they hurt us. There's too much of you. There's not enough of him. Y'all got it? We got to learn to comply, but he, he's not asking to do something without knowledge. So it's important that what can keep us a hamper from getting knowledge? He said, what? The gods of this world. What'd you say? That's right. With the, with the gods do other things. So we have to be conscious of, cognitive of other things can hamper, hinder different things. That's why he told about wine and drinking. You'll find instances where they did drink. But is it logical that they drank to get drunk? Because then it's going to impair their faculties. It's always about staying sober-minded. Because you always got to make decisions. So you're a decision-making people. You can't ever be in a state to where you can't make a cognitive decision. You can't ever be in a state where you can't be conscious. That's dangerous for us. Y'all got it. We're thinking people. 
Let me see. I got to think about him for that noon prayer. When I wake up, then after that, I'm good. Uh-uh. What I got to do then? All day I think about him. Then, woo, but I get ready to go to sleep. Now I'm done with that thing. Still got to think, but I'm getting ready to go to sleep. So how drunk, how it going to work for me? Then I just let one of them gods come in and blind my mind. I always got to be thinking. That's the type of people y'all are. They got the Greeks on the land. Got, what is he doing? That's what they got to do to think. We don't have to do it. I can lay down. I can stand up. I can walk. I can be going in. I can be going out. I'm thinking. That's how important that for us to be. Otherwise, like he told you, you're going to let one of them gods come in and blind your mind. See, that's the problem with getting drunk and getting high. Then it take over. Anything take over rule. Come on for a second. Hold on a second. In the name of Jesus, tell me I ain't got no hold on you. Y'all see how powerful them words are? That's what we be doing. Y'all saw how he looked, y'all saw how he broke, he was able to break strongholds and do that? How he was out when he said it. We all gotta be conscious people. We always have to be conscious people. Y'all got it? Because think about it. That's how it's going to work to deteriorate the entire relationship with him. It's through the mind. I'm saying I'm going to stump his toe. I know that'll kill him. <laughs> I'm stump my toe. My toe going to hurt. I'm going to tell you something, devil. Stump my toe because it hurt. But you got to get me in the mind. Y'all got it? And you got to get me to disbelieve it here. Y'all got it? So while he ain't came, he moved over to deep. Because that's some of the things we got to root it. When you think about deep, you think about roots. Right? He told me to hew down the tree. What did he tell him to do? That's right, because the, the stump got roots. The roots are deep. So it's got an opportunity to come back. Right? So he can't, he moved over to Tahoe. I didn't get over the deep. I got to put something down in there. He told me when a man build a house, where he go? Deep. So it makes sense why Allah moved over the deep. Because I'm trying to build. I'm going to get ready to build a hole along. And I'm just going to stay on the surface. I saw your face, but I got to get deep. So I can establish, so I can build. He said, anybody, but he going to build it, he get down to that hard place where he said, I can build here. But that's all about how you going to encompass the information. How far you willing to go? I tell all the time, how far you willing to go? That being on it. How far? You got people his height. Where you going? Wherever you going. Yeah, people do that. Some folks tell where they going. Up the street ain't going far. Some people get in. I'm ready to go. How far you going? Y'all got it. This salvation thing, you got to be able to go farther than where the other person going to go. That's why you're going to win there. There's some people that will go, but they got to get out at a certain point. I wasn't trying to go that far. That's, that's, that's just being practical. Y'all better think about everything you got, everything you want, everything you're trying to achieve, and what you willing to trade for. Because you don't, you're going to wind up going all the way up there just to make a fool out like yourself and don't even make it. It's bad for you to get all the way in and don't make it. I'm being honest. It's, I mean, who wouldn't want to keep everything they got? Who wouldn't want everything to stay a certain way? It's just not practical. When Allahim come in, everything changed. Don't y'all know that was in existence before he came here? If he came and he said, I ain't bring water, it was here. I came in, made, listen, I made everything change. I put a creation here. I put an existence here. I said, when well, it was him, I went him. It didn't even exist. How you come in a place, you came in a place, and there was water. And then you said it don't exist. It didn't have no direction till I came. Huh? That was applicable till I came. There was no reason. There was no thought process. It was just there. It was nothing. I came. I stepped on the scene and told you, this is creation. I made this. I gave it direction. I gave it order. I gave it law. I gave it discipline. He said, I did that for it. That's what I do to you. He said, I come. You weren't existing until I came. Hello? That's how important you said, but it was here. He said he came in, it was here. It didn't have no existence, though. How long are you going to continue like that? Nobody acknowledged it before. You didn't come until I came and established it. I create. I made it. I just think it was right and wrong. Wasn't no right and wrong. I'm like, what you care about right and wrong? It's a, it's like he said, it knows y'all mean when they came to the Malak. What he said? The Rod just did what was right in his own eyes until I came. It looked like that was okay. Till I came. And I showed him, you hadn't gotten nowhere with what you're doing, though. Yeah. 
Tell me it was existing five million years before I got him. What was it doing? Nothing. Nothing. That's what you've been doing all your life till you come into the knowledge of Ali. You have done absolutely nothing. You have been absolutely nothing until he came. That's how I understand Ali. They worried about how the world got him. It didn't want the world. It was nothing until he came. Isn't that right? All of us, what's your life was like before you met him? Before you come into the knowledge of? Till you started to, and that came along with you doing what though? Letting go of some things, moving from some places. Some of y'all move from other places, listen, that one light to the other, by rocking that thing. So, that is true, folk move, what, you know what they did? Let the mind separate. Let the mind separate from the mind. Y'all had to come, because you had no existence. That's how this creation came. Let it separate. <laughs> and let Yasha boy appear. Put some dry land between. Y'all don't move any some land between some of y'all between your spouses. So you understand by sheep. Now you're starting to create and put things together. Some of y'all didn't, some of y'all really existed and what you could do didn't happen until you separated. Same thing happened when you who are set up by sheep. If anybody understand, y'all understand it. He started naming what all the people did, what folk did, and where folk came. Didn't happen until he came to their life. Until he let them see, get them not to realize, ain't nothing working the way it's going. You don't have no real existence. You're just going through the motions of. So when we read this, this ain't nothing comical to us. This is reality for us. One life to live. Okay. This is what he told us. Verse 7, this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 7. And we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of Elohim and not of us. And not from us. See what he said? And we have this treasure in earthen vessels. <laughs> you know what happened? Shalom didn't get to that point. He won't know how he's going to contain it and keep it. Mm -hmm. Shaul said we got it. And it's in an earthen vessel. If y'all remember, Shalom Sha kept wanting to know that the Shaman couldn't contain him. What is this Beth going to do? Yeah. Shaul just came and said, we got it. Yeah. And it's in an earthen vessel. Mm -hmm. See that? This ain't hard at people making complaints. You just got to want to be saved. That's why I asked y'all what you're trying to do. That's all I, that's, I, don't, have that, I don't know manuscript. I don't have no cute car. I don't have nothing made up. I'll read it with you and we'll just go through it. And I guarantee that I can put it where it go. I only got one intent. I just want to know what he said. I just want to know what direction we need to go in. I just want to plainly understand what it is he wants to do. If I can't do that, then it won't be able to benefit me because I don't understand what you're saying. I need to understand it. And I can understand it from being a man. Y'all got it? Let's go back right quick to Shalom. Shalom, I try to finish y'all up. Second Chronicles, they call it. Um, Beth, sixth chapter. We left our wet verse. Uh, 19? We should be getting that. Probably 23. Let's see, 19. We'll try to read that and get y'all finished. Second. Six. Thank you, sir. All right, 19. All right, 6 and 19. And? Have respect, therefore, to the Palal of thy abod. And it's 6 and 19, and it's a different one. You read a different one? He's saying you have turned toward the Palal of your Abedin. Okay. You're saying have respect? Yes, sir. Which is turned toward. You know what's amazing? Just think about that. Sometimes your parents tell somebody, look at me when I'm talking to you. That's right. And you know why that make you do that? As a sign of respect. Mm -hmm. As a sign of respect, turn toward me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Y'all remember stuff like that? Mm -hmm. We understand that, though. I want to understand even you use little, little simple words like that. Because you'll say it, respect. That's a sign of respect. Turn toward. the pull out. I respect what you're asking. So this is what you got to ask yourself, you pull out. Is he turned toward what you're asking him to do? Does he have respect to what you're asking? Or is his back still turned against you? Because in, in the book of Yeshayahu 59 and 1, it told him, behold, it is on. 
and his ear wasn't heavy that he could not, but his face. Hold on. Separated between no. Hold on. What you say? You said cuss. I want you to come try it. <laughs> nah. Yeah, the eyes is right. Twelve and all the three and twelve for the eyes of you who are over them, and his ears are open unto. But the pineal Yahuwah is turned away from. So now this is what you ask yourself. This is something we had to control. And this is dangerous. Because the reason why it's dangerous is because you don't think about it. I'm polite. I'm asking him for something. Now I got to remember why he had answered. It's because I don't respect what you're doing. I don't respect what you're doing. Okay? So that's why I'm not turned to it. So now you got to look at how do I get my respect? Y'all got it. How do I get him to respect me? Y'all got a woman, son. She on the street. She got on the land. You know, hey, don't call me hoe. Don't call me be. You you call me by my name. You 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 respect me like a woman. Is this conscionable? You're a prostitute. I'm talking all the prostitutes. I ain't assuming all the prostitutes. You 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 talk to me like a woman. You talk to me. You don't you don't treat me like no hoe. Uniform. Your uniform, your action, attribute. And I just can't see treating you like no woman. Y'all understand that? So now we'll use that to us. Yahuwah acknowledge me as your child. But my actions are one in the street. Acknowledge me as, you know, being your own. But you don't act or carry yourself as one that I possess. So now when you ask me for something, I'm not hearing it. When you ask me to do something, I don't respect your request. So now, once I understand that, I work to change my actions. Yehuda walked up on tomorrow, and he wanted to get him a shot. Why? Because you look like a hoe. You look like a hoe. So if you take that stuff off and you don't have that, I wouldn't come and treat you like that. I will respect you for being who you're supposed to be. So now we understand how important it is that we represent what we're asking. Everything I'm asking him to do, he does for his people. Everything I'm asking him to do, he does for a ben, for a son, or for his benin, for his children. Y'all got that? Just like when you call me, that Abraham left an inheritance to his benin. When they came, he gave all of them barakas. Right? Because he looked at they were his menin, his children. He looks at me as you do nothing that's in the character of him. You show no traits of any of the people I say descended down from. Why would I be respecting your request? See, once I know this, now I know how to make changes. Versus, let me quit then. I can't be saved. Let me quit then. I can't be saved. Let me go. I can't be saved. Let me go. I can't do it. Why I can't? He's giving me the information of why I'm not hearing you. So I change what I do so he will hear me. So he will acknowledge me as. When Jacob wanted the Baraka of his Abba, what did he do? He wasn't giving it to a man with skin, with no smooth skin. That smooth nigga, he said, I don't mess with them smooth niggas. Smooth niggas always trying to trip you up, trying to slick you. I ain't getting no smooth nigga. You know what You said, that nigga smooth right now. I ain't fooling with him. He was smooth. He said, I ain't getting that nigga. He's too smooth. So what he did? He, what he did? Run away from home. What you supposed to do? I can't be saved. I ain't getting it. I'm gone. I'm out it. Headed to Germany. No. The man said, then I got to dorm myself where he recognized me. Can't got that special seat. Too late. Y'all already got it. We have one. He got right here, left hand, and I got a little special seat to let me put on. I put him over there. In it. it can't mess up. You be next. <laughs> so now you can look at the importance of why you have to learn how to, to um, imitate. Y'all got it? Now you got to learn to imitate. Now we understand imitation because he did it. When he set up in Barashit Sheet 126, that was an imitation. 126 was an imitation. According to the fifth chapter of the book of Romans, he declared that Adam was a false step. And it was not the actuality of what it was. 
we knew Adam as who? So I said, hypocrite. We found him to be a hypocrite. We knew him first as the son of Allahim. Right. Then we found out he was the false step. He was not. So when we got Yahushua, he told us that he was the men of Allahim. You know, we tried to wrap our around him out. You saying you like. You saying you got the authority to do everything. That's why he come here and let you know what he could do. Because we had to know it first from somebody that was similar like. And he let us know that what we saw at the first was not the actual real thing. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. Just no more than the shadow is the tree. But the shadow is the, and that's what he tried to get you to say. Adam was not the actual, was not the actual one. But we had to learn that Elohim had created and made him one from the Adama, who was his mother. Hello, and formed him. Took him and formed him. Same thing he did with Yahushua inside of the womb of Marine. Huh? And presented him alive to us and said, This is my yet or die being. Everybody on the rocks should call him. Worship him. Why y'all think all the animals came to see him? Hello? Same thing with us. He let us know. But we had to learn from Adam first. That he was like he had the ability and the authority. And whatever he called you, that's what you was. That's what you was. That was so, you know, people wrap the man caught up and you think, who the nigga think he is? Adam? He just walked around there naming people caught. So you, but you were only saying that because you had knowledge of Adam. You had knowledge of Adam's ability and character. Who did a red nigga walk around talking to people? He might look like Adam. He think he, Adam, he trying to tell, he the son of Adam. That's why he tried to tell him. That the Ben could do nothing of himself. But whatever he saw the Abba do, only person could possibly tell you that would be Adam. That he seen Elohim do this. And that he worked the same work that he did. Yeah. That he could work when Elohim was working. He said, I work and the Abba working. We still working. All right. Time to get y'all to understand. <clears throat> All right, let's see. And you have turned toward the Palau of your Abedin, or your Abad, and to his supplication, O Yahuwah, my Elohim, to Kara, what does he put? Shama for listen? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Shama, yeah, Shama. To the cry. No, different. Rena. Rena. And to the Palau, which your abad Palau's before you. See, that's what we got to look at. He turned to respect his abad and his supplication to listen to his Rayon, Rayon, and to his Palau, his asking, which his Abad Palau's before you. So we gotta learn, we gotta become a servant. How do we do that? How do we become a servant? Open the door. Open the door. He says, stand at the door. That's right, open the door. And what he'll do? Make us a boat. Make it boat, and which means you have to do what? Serve us. That's right, you become tributary. That's right. So it makes sense. So guess what happened with a lot of us why we had become servants of Elohim? We had opened, got a closed door. Mm. Mm. How we do? We close out before we won't open and let in. We close. We just shut it off. That's why we've been without existence. That's why we kind of sit in this enigmas. You know, get stuck and got these, these stuck points. We don't get a peg and they come down to you and say, I'm knocking, I'm trying to come in. So since you don't open, let me come in, now I'm gonna have to kill you. Now I gotta kill you. But he said, I listen to that person. I listen to my bar. I listen to their palau. When they ask me something, I give it to them. I grant it to them. You submit it, you greet me with shalom. So when you ask, I listen, I give, you submit it to. All right, 20. Mm -hmm. That thine um may be open upon this Beth, Yum, and Layla, upon the Malkum, whereof thou hast said that thou wouldest put thy Shem there, to hearken unto the Palal, which thy Abad Palal toward this Malkum. See that nasty toy. You see what I'm looking at? That your um may be open toward this Beth, 
Mume and Layla, day and night, toward the Malcolm of which you said that you would put your shim there to listen, Kara or Shama, Shama, to the Palau or the asking which your abad shall Palau ask toward this Malcolm. So this part of stipulation. So his eyes are never upon it, off of it. So he made a situation where some of your senses, if I can't see, my hearing increase. My smell. Don't you know that's how it works? Your body has to operate five senses. So if it loses one, the others will increase. Go grab a guy with one arm and see how weak he is. That's just going to swing you out like a rag doll. His body don't have to divide, don't have to separate. It's all in one. That's the same thing we're looking for with Yahuwah. When all that thing come down and everything subdued to him, Yahushua got to go back and give it to him. Right now, power divided. That same thing happened in Mizraim. After, my, after Yosa had got him through 14 years, why do I need you to still rule? I only got you to do that till all things were subdued to me. He got all of the land, everybody that owned stuff in Mizraim, while I had to, his deal, he worked it out. I'll feed you, but you got to give it up. You got to give it up, the house. You're good, you're gonna give it up. And, who, and he kept it for himself and built it up for himself. What he did? It was to put all things under subjection so he can put it, give it back to Pharaoh. Right. Pharaoh never set him up for him to have it for him to take. That's you right. get it for me. And after all this had been accomplished, then you'll submit to me and you'll put everything back under my hand. Y'all understand that? Yes, How many of y'all thought he was supposed to just continue to rule? Yosef rule was only until he had completed. That's how we understand Yahushua's rule. That he was set here to subdue all things for him, to get him through the famine. He was on the set to get him through the famine. So the story that you read, which is true, concerning Yahushua, and how he was brought out the dungeon and elevated and put up, so Yahushua, he was put in the grave. So he understood how he got in the room. That he rolled right beside Pharaoh. It's going to sit down here in my right hand till, till I make it. That's right, until the, sir, until the root word means till. Y'all got it? The un is a prefix. So it's only till. So that's, a, that's a for a time. After everything is subdued, then you'll give it back to me. So I can be all in all. Right now, power divided. I got you. I told people going to you, they still come around to me. And I'm still operating as the head. But I set you here. You the figure. So we understood how Adam worked. I got it? And he was just a premise and a forerunner for Yahushua. Y'all got it? That's what you're coming to know. That, but had Adam not come, how are we going to understand him being the son of a spirit? But we knew that Allahim was power, strength. Y'all got it? We understood that. And we knew that Adam didn't just come from himself, that he was made by and the person that made him, Barah him, said, this is my being. I begotten him. Because you know what he did? Like a man with a farmer, you only call him husbandman because he is putting seed in the ground. A man puts seed in a woman. Hello? It's similar traits. So since I took him out of the ground, that's going to make me a husbandman. What I pull up, that's my seed. I'm sorry, that's my son. When he got Yahushua up from the moot, that's my seed. I'm sorry, that's my son. Y'all understand it? That's what we're working on. I ain't finished this up. All right, next one. Shama, therefore, unto the supplications of thy abide and of thy arm, Yasharal, which they shall make toward this Malcolm. Shama thou from thy dwelling Malcolm, even from Shamayim, and when thou shameth forgive. See that? That's a different. They can hear you too, but what if you don't get this? See? Because you comply, not only will I hear, I forgive because I respect you like that. Now, you ain't going to believe it. Listen to what he told him to do. Listen to the, of your This is what you got to pay attention to. Y'all hear that? This is what he told me to do. Show how it work. He wanted to do it from Shamaim's 
Here, pick me up at six and nine, Matthew. Nine and six. Nine and four. Make it um, three. Make it one. Nine and one. Let base off us read. All right? Listen. And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. Mm -hmm. And behold, they brought to him a ish sick of the palsy, lying Paralyzed on the bed. Mm -hmm. And Yahushua, seeing their Amunah, said unto the sick of the palsy, Being be of tube cheer, thy kataim be forgiven thee. Listen. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This ish Blasphemy. Listen. And Yahushua, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye Rasha in your law? Mm -hmm. For whether is easier to For what now? For whether is easier to say thy kataim be forgiven thee, or to say arise in halak. Let's see what he told them. But they but that ye may know that the Ben of Ish hath power on Arats to forgive Kataim. Then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Kum, take up thy bed and go unto thine beth. That's what, that's what Solomon just asked him. Just asked him. He said, when you're a bard, when he pull out, he asks, hear and forgive. That's what he was trying to tell him, so you'll know who I am. Because the only person you could possibly be to say something like that is the Ben of Daoud. That's the agreement he just made with him. He said, and then when you're a bard, when he pull out and he asks, hear and forgive. That's the agreement he had with him. You do my will. That's what he wanted them to know. I want you to know who I am, definitely. That when I ask him something, he hears me and he forgives. Right. That was the purpose of the man. Your sin be forgiven you. Make sense? That's how you get it. That's why you get alignment. Bruce, I tell you, you got alignment teaching y'all leading you on the perfect path. It's got to make sense. Why would he just walk around and tell him, just, like, just tell the man, pick up, and he said, then he come in and say, he said, man, come up and take your stuff and go. He was just trying to let these people know that I have an agreement with him. You have an agreement with him. He said, and for Yasharon, that when they pull out, hear them and forgive. Let's see what happened. Six and nine. Matthew, same book. I got so much to teach y'all, but time don't allow me to do that. I don't want to weigh y'all out. I'll be, be up here. But I, I mean, I heart what I do, though. I, I heart what I do. I want to do right. It's six and nine. Listen to what he told you. After this. After this manner, therefore, Palau ye, Abinu, which are in Shamayim, may your Shem be Kadash. Mm -hmm. oh. Thy Malkut thy come, thy will be done in Arat as it is in Shamayim. Hold on, he said, here he said, as your will is done in Shamayim, may it also be on the Arat. It's just vice versa. Okay. All right, let's see what he told him. Let's see what he said. Give us this yum, our daily lacom. Come. Uh huh. And forgive us our debt as we forgive our debt debtor. You know who can do that? Yasharal. Yasharal can pull out that. Right. And he'll do it. That's what he was teaching us. That's the agreement we got with him. Sure. That if his abar, uh, Yasharal, if we pull out, he is supposed to hear us and forgive. 
What sense is he going to make for the ask him to forgive him? He ain't going to do it. That's a waste of time. Right. King going to say, I ain't going to never forgive you. Until I die, I'll never forgive you. Can you forgive me? What did the man just say? Why well, I'm asking. The agreement is that he will hear us and forgive us. But we have to comply with a behavior. He said, that's what I respect. That's what I acknowledge. Why are you going to teach these folks to sit here and ask that man something he ain't going to do? Then he said, here and He knew we couldn't get back, but we can plow toward. The agreement is, I'll hear you. Because the way my face is turned, my ear can still pick up sound. You just got to pray toward the same direction where my ear will pick up the sound. Because I'm looking. But you can cry and get my attention. You do it the right way. Blind bots and males got me to turn. Y'all see that? All he did was cry out toward him. He still had a sense of direction. He cried out toward him. He heard him. And he commanded him to stop. Everybody else tried to stop him. Tried to prevent him. They tried to act as the Elohim of this rock. They tried to block him. He was already blind. They'll block you. But the more they tried to stop him, the more he, he sogged out. Eventually, he stopped the hearing to acknowledge him. I respect what you were doing. That's why I stopped. And I want to answer your call. Y'all got it? See, they, they make stuff a whole lot more complicated than what it is for us. That's why we... Maybe it's a special offering you're supposed to give, some, a $500 offer, a $1,000 offer. People been trying to recreate and trying to reconfigure versus it's just too simple for them. It's so simple until it's right. It's got to be something else with me. Oh, everybody just give This is run our head into the wall. I know that'll get him. Before the people offer sacrifice, they were set and just cut themselves up, which means they knew what? They knew something about Dom, didn't they? They knew something about Dom. They didn't just start cutting them. So they knew something. The fact that they, after he went here, they knew if we start bleeding, cutting ourselves. He acknowledges life. Because he give it. He acknowledges So I start cutting myself. That he'll acknowledge me. He still ignored him. He acknowledged a person keeping a life that's consecrated. That's dedicated. Y'all got it? They're saying his admiration. That he respect. That he hear. Y'all got it? In the ninth chapter of the book of um, Jehuqanon, 9 and 32, 33, he said, we know that Allah, <laughs> he don't hear people that commit kata. He said, but if any man, I think he said, turn and be a worshiper of him. Him, that's what we're acknowledge. You know, they even call Yahushua a sinner. They said, that man will commit cartoon. But if a man turn, he say, here. Hello? If a man turn, he say, him. That's who Allah ain't here. So the only reason you got all these stipulations, because he already knew. Shalom ain't no fool. He's just like Abraham. You a spare if it fit the other? He said, I'll spare the city. Hold on for a minute. Them niggas. What, what if it 40? I'll spare him. I don't care about them niggas. Please don't be mad with me. If it's 30 of them, I'll spare them. I don't know 10 good niggas in the whole city. <laughs> Please don't be mad with me. If it be 10, he said, get them out. <laughs> I'm going to start get them out. Now I'm going to keep dropping. He said, I know, he said, I know you ain't going to find them. If you find them, I'll spare it. This ain't no 50 good people in that whole city. Keep coming back. The man said, man, get them out. Just get them out. Man, wife didn't make it out. Listen, his son-in-law didn't make it out. Check him and his daughters. You know what we'd have did? Don't take her without me. Not me. I'll push over in there. <laughs> we have, the man said to me, you ain't got to repeat. You said burn it up. Man, let's get out of here. We got to go. I mean, that's now because I understand how it went. But think about the first time you hear that. When did when people record a whole city burning up? 
Then you got to look at how much stuff you got. How much stuff you got to pack them try to drag out of him. Then the man tell you, listen, you just got to come on and go. Then you understand about forsaking. Yeah. Houses, land, why? How you? How am I understand that? And what was the purpose of why he escaped houses, land, why, and why he forsook all of them? Because he was a sorry, no good nigga. Because he didn't care about them, know how he wanted insurance money. Because it was to save his own life. If I stay here with it, I'm going to die with it. That's what he understood. They hear, when you hear him talking about forsaken house, man, that sound like some cold stuff. That sound like, no. What happened to the people that stayed? It's got to make sense. He said, that's how you save your life. I told you I'm going to destroy this place. Then you got to save yourself. We'll spend more time trying to rationalize other people's sanctity. What other people knowing people? They don't, they don't quite understand. Don't bring somebody, sit them down, hold a book, and got to hold them and try to walk them through everything. That's what he said. See, he said, see what he's saying now. See, he said you had to be willing to forsake everything. See, and you got the a hog out of him. You got to, yeah, and that's the love out of him. See, he's saying you got to love him. You know, like love him, love him. You think I'm going to say wait a whole time try to explain everything that man's saying. You got to either here, you'll catch it. If people ain't speaking, none of them ain't watching, sat down, and you really got mad, you inquisitive. I told when I first made the move to transit just to leave from Shaq everything, I didn't even know the Old Testament from the New. I heard folks, I didn't never tell nobody, I didn't want nobody to think I was stupid. But I didn't know no Old Testament call for something, I just be flipping. I didn't go to the front, I ain't got time, I just flip. Now, the other why you see everybody, I just stood, they stand to read, we just stand, we had to read, I said, I know I ain't the only one. I ain't got no folk with that. I don't know how these folk read one part of somebody. I don't know what they read. I just played it out. I just said, I don't know. That be here by real. I don't know where these folks at. I don't know where they get from. I, but you know what? That didn't deter me. You know what? I'm finna go on in the world back. I can't. I want to know. So you put time in. You had to reinvest or invest to make sure you know because I wanted to be saved and this was a part of my salvation that I need to know it. So you got people that under to do it. People got nothing saying they can get up, they can go take a dump and wipe. You ain't retarded. You can piss and flush the toilet. You know you're home, you go get your food. You know you're thirsty, go get something to drink. Put your clothes on, they ain't back with everything straight. Look in the mirror, make sure your hair comes. You know what you're doing. Folks are dragged you all the way at the end of the day. This becomes such a, this, this becomes such a journey to where you really have to look at self. Yeah. But y'all understand, this man designate who he's going to save and who he's going to cast out. There ain't no, there ain't no trust of mine. That's right. But you got to be willing persistent. That's right. When them people heard that none of it, he was going to destroy them for the day. You saw them folks gave it, them folks said, listen, we're done. Yes, listen, man. They're like, you ready to get drunk, man, get high. We ain't got a 39 more day and 20 hour. That man said, quick, everybody fast. Let's get to what he acknowledges. And you know who understood that? When the apostle, when the Charlotte King came across him, oh boy, they tried to hit him. The boy wouldn't get well for nothing. Because I know I'm praying and I said it right. I know I asked. They knew they asked. I know I put out right and I acknowledge and everything. But we could not catch that thing out. He said, yeah, he said, this is going to come in through, through fasting. And plowing. See, some break, some breaks you need. You gotta pull from the table. That man looked at he gonna he they could have went and filed out and pray. Look, do this, do the ha. Everybody do the ha ha. Do the ha 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 ha. And put your hands up. Wait, put your hands up, hands up. I don't work on Shabbat you. you. That didn't work for them. Not Chris, I'm just saying, they had to fast, restrict themselves, and plow. And you who are spared the city. He said, I respect that. That when I told you you were going to moot, you knew you got to do something different. Yeah. You've been proud. They ain't, ain't no like, oh, I don't know how to pray. Teach us how to pray right quick. Come on, come on. Teach us how to pray. Ain't got for 39 days. No. You already been praying, but you ain't restricted yourself. We all get warnings. Everybody got to make their choice. Do you understand? People can't carry you their whole life. You got to make a choice. Even on your sanctity, you got to make a choice you want to be saved and fight. Pay. Who ain't here nothing that go through their mind? Who ain't here nothing that's going go through your mind? No other thoughts, no other ideas don't go through your mind. Who, where they at? What you do? 
Why the man tell me cast down imagination? Because once you say it, you don't get them. Why are you going to tell me? Why are you going to tell me pull down strongholds? Because I ain't going to have none. That useless. What am I going to do with it? Once you say it, once you understand it, you ain't going to never cast, you ain't going to never have none of your imagination. You ain't going to never have no stronghold. You ain't going to have never have nothing that's going to exalt itself against his knowledge. False. Exactly false. That's why he told me. That's right. Maybe something be going through my mind. Something going everybody. What you do when you get it? Do you embody it or you constrain it? That's what you do. Cast it down. You know what you got to do to do that? You got to be strong. That's a heavy weight. That's a demanding task. How we, why y'all think stuff come up? How I'm going to know I'm strong? How you going to know you actually doing it? Why you think your whore came and shook the whole of rice? Why you think he made it smoke and lightning? So I can test you to see where you at. Everybody gave up and fainted and quit when something came up. Wouldn't be nobody him. This whole thing, you who would put up, never would have been him. It would have never got started. If everything could quit and faint and just run away, how would it got that far? It is because people learn to be like the olive, be strong. And in the power of his might. Because that's the only way we could do it. We had to put on the whole armor so we'd be able to stand. Gets the wiles of. That's the trickery. Don't you let the devil come to trick you? He'll put stuff in your mind. You watch some on TV, your mind straight. So, oh, come back. That's going to happen. You'll be all the same you want. You know what I mean? How you know? It might not be real. You, everybody, you can go to what you got to do in that car. No, you leave. You're going like that so you can find out. Then you come back and get it right. Everybody know that. Don't be stupid. What you do? Who in here ain't thought about quitting? Walking away. Who ain't thought about it? it could be a chance? It ain't that like folks saying. What do you do when it come? That's what you got to do. It don't matter. They, they, that's the purpose of why it's coming, because it know you on the path of something. So it's going to fight you to get you off the path. That's right. That's the whole purpose. Whole purpose. You're the champion of the world. Who want to fight you? Why? On the champ, people should stop. Because they want to be the champ too. You the fastest man in the world. Who want to race you? Everybody. Nobody. Everybody. Why? You the fast. I need to see. I believe I'm faster than you. That's the goal. People, that's people working at you. You think the devil, Satan, ain't going to work at you to try to get you off from your steadfastness? It's all about what you're willing to do. Everybody, everybody, it happened. You human. Get out of your mind. You ain't human. You are human. You can tell I'm super. You super stupid. You human. You are of a lotus. You are of a low estate. You are a common man. You don't become superior through the information. Ain't about how strong what you can live, how fast you can run, it's how long you can endure till he comes. Can you continue until he gets here? That's where your real strength at. Being able to resist and say no. Huh? Being able when that thing come, I can fasten that thing around and I can hold and restrain it. It don't have no authority. Every time, man, I had authority over me. That was just it. Until you get the knowledge. And you realize it can come. I used to think if it come, that means you ain't broke it. You can go, you still in it. You still. <laughs> They both didn't tell me thought, you know, because I heard people testify. When I that thing, God just took it out of my mouth. I don't think four weeks. I said, man, I ain't gonna be good. I ain't say you just clap other folks. You said, I'm done. I'm done. I can't stop my mind from thinking about that. You know what? Drake and look ain't came my mind. 55 years. I said, I'm done. I just thought about drinking just now. I'm done. But how many y'all heard people these crazy, you know what I'm saying? That stuff that went, man, he just came one day and took it out of my mouth. I said, I'm done. Man, I don't pitch. He come out and said, give me that look about it. Took it out of their mouth. Because I'm listening. I'm thinking, why would you be lying? Why, are you, why would you be lying? So all I'm waiting on him to do, 
him to come take the taste out of my mind, him to erase my mind where a cigarette don't never come out, a bill don't come in my mind, fornicate a dough never come in my mind, because it never came in my mind for 55 years, just told another lie. People messed us up. Y'all familiar with people telling these lies, so now they made it to where it's not even obtainable. The more you say, I don't want to come and try to keep something out of my mind, it'll come in your mind. Trying to black feet like blasphemy. Oh, now I'm finna burn in hell. Oh, something came to my mind and said black feet. Oh, now I'm finna burn in hell. Where you getting it from? That's what we come to constrain it with the obedience. Our obedience is how we beat this. By not, by complying. It's only because Yahushua was tested. But Ben Allahim, ain't nobody got more raw hockey than he got. One secret already had it, born with it. The devil come and tell you to do this? The black thing tell you to jump down? Tell you to do stuff again? How that work if it happened to him? Then how am I exempt? It's all about what y'all want to do. At the end of the day, really, it's all about what you want to do. You can let your pad, you can let something beat you up and hold you back. For me, I'm much too busy. I got to get in. I make, make no mistake. I got to get in. I can't let this stuff hold me down. I'll never get nowhere. Your past always going to come back up. It's your past. What nigga got a photo album for? So never remember when they was a baby? So you forget your prom? So you get when you play Lily? What you got a photo album for? What is that, your future, nigga? That's your past, nigga. Come on. I'm going to go back and put on a Little League suit. When I was in the first grade, you shouldn't be able to fit it. Some of us. So now you got to say, but it's a part of what made you up and what you came from. Like your parents, you're going to think as, as horrible, horrific, as damaging, as much as you hate it, it's part of what got you here. So now you build from it that you will never be that person again. So when you run across a person, young man, young woman, who struggled with it, he said, listen, I used to be, huh, you? For, yeah, yeah. I used to as well. But he made me change me. You got to change the people you with. You got to change the things you do. You got to change your communication. You got to really embottle being what you're trying to become. The only reason why team practice is to win. Who practiced a little? Let practice a little. I remember one day my kid and them played. That was so terrible. I tried to call they, they were ter- not 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 the terrible little league. They were right for playing in football. They called they was gonna play the team. They boy was that scramble, that white boy, he could scramble, he could do everything on the field. So they were practicing. They were like, we're gonna win. I said, yeah, coach, you gonna win. He said, no. I said, what did he say? He said, he said, we just practice and try to contain him to 36 points. <laughs> I said, Am I making this stuff up? The white boy, listen, nobody could stop that boy. Listen, they all practice to contain him to 36 points. I'm like, this is your strategy. He said, that we were practicing for. He said, he said, no, he told him, he said, he said, no, we ain't going to win. He said, we're just trying to practice. <laughs> Flag, I said, you know, you go to coach, where the coach board is at? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're looking to beat him. Yeah, we got, we got some up our sleeve. He told me, Flag, he said, he said, no, he said, we ain't going to win. He said, we're just trying to practice containing the 36 points. I said, this is terrible. That just threw me so I just never in my life heard that. To practice to hold him so it didn't keep me 36 points, they lost. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying they let him got 36 points. You like, you're a whole, you're gonna try to practice the whole. He was just unstoppable. It wasn't, it wasn't happening. So the best you can do is just try to contain the 36 point. Cause you hold a receiver direct, he running and you ain't stopping him. If you make him stay in the pocket, you're done because he's going to get the ball off. So all you can do is just try to play the home to 36 points. Say, say, if you can just work with us, if you can only get 36 points. So for us, we ain't got no agreement with the devil where we're going to try to contain him to no 36 points. We want that nigga with zero. We winning this thing. Y'all got it. But we're going to beat it through knowledge. And we're going to beat it through comprehending. We're not going to go with that fake stuff. Let's wave your hand right quick and say, through your Lord, we're going to do it. That stuff not going to work. Y'all know what I'm saying? No, we ain't going to win. I'm telling that coach that, no, we ain't going to win. <laughs> we definitely ain't going to win. Like, we're going to beat them through knowledge. 
Y'all got it through understanding. That's how we gonna win this fight. And everybody, that's how we gonna beat this. We gonna take our time. We gonna run real fast. We gonna act like we understand something we don't. If we don't, we'll go back over it again until we get it right. Just like practice, that's not how we practice it. Let's go back over it again. How long we gonna do this? Till you get it right. Got it? That's two. Appreciate y'all.